Welcome to the Denver Coliseum in Denver, Colorado for the 2023 Men's and Women's National Championships. We see our wide shot of the arena. Four sheets being used for this championship event, eight team round robin. Four teams will make the playoffs. The winner of this men's tournament will advance to the world championships in Ottawa in April. This is Tyler George coming to you live from the Coliseum, joined this morning by Tony Cott from out here in Denver. Tony, thanks for joining us. Happy to have you here. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's going to be great. Tony, I know you've played at the, the Mixed Doubles Nationals. Uh, Yep. Any designs on the men's field as well? Uh, uh, yeah, no, just uh, playing with these guys throughout the field uh, this year, throughout the qualification process of mixed nationals is pretty great. So i um, pretty excited for this game between uh, Dropkin and Samson, between Anderson, Snopera, Corey Dropkin, you Coleman see the Thurston. standings in front of us here, too. Team Dunham and Team Smith pacing the field at 2-0. and Casper Dropkin ruining 1-1. One one. Schuster as well at 1-1. One one. Sampson and Sobering 0-2 oh looking for their first win. Oh, we got a first place game on Sheet D. Is that right? Look at that. Here is our feature game. Team Corey Dropkin again at 1-1 one one versus the Young Guns. Team Sampson, 0-2. Here's our lineups for Team Dropkin. The lead, Tom Howell. Second, Mark Fenner. Third, Andrew Stepera and the skip, Corey Dropkin. Coached by old buddy Mark Lazar. And for Team Sampson, alternate, Jake Zeman, Duluth Zone. Lead, Marius Kleinus. Second, Coleman Thurston. Third, Kevin Tuma, and Skip, Ethan Sampton, coached by another buddy and Mark's arch enemy, Mike Moore. The games will begin in one minute. Practice slides may be taken. Good luck and good curling. Tony, we saw Team Sampson take a Team Schuster to an extra end last night. Went right to the hilt. John had to make a tap to the forefoot for the win. It's great to see our young talent competing with the best that we have. I would uh, completely agree with that. The strength of this field is top to bottom is very close. Um, I think I don't think that there's a pushover game in any one of these matches. Um, but, yeah, it was great to see Samson and Schuster go head-to-head -head yesterday. That was awesome. Another tester for Team Samson today against Team Corey Dropkin, uh, by anybody's estimation, one of the favorites to win this championship. So it'll be interesting to see, can this young team continue to improve and possibly get to get a W on the board against a team like Corey Dropkin's squad. First rock of the game will be thrown by Team Sampson. Team Dropkin wins the last shot draw for Hammer. It's as though Team Sampson will be going to center guard to start things off. A little bit of a aggressive play coming at Team Dropkin. That will end up on the center line and with the no tick zone rule as that is touching center it cannot be moved off the center line so tom howell lead for team dropkin will be playing the out turn come around draw I feel like ice conditions have been pretty solid all week how about you tyler yeah, and talking with the players last night, they said that 
They were losing a little bit of speed on the slide path late in the game, especially. Slide path being in the center yeah. of the sheet. Okay, right, but right overall, the speed is held up. They had a little bit of trouble with the the curl. I know speaking with John Schuster said that they had a lot of trouble. They, they didn't feel like they made any double peels or, or doubles the entire game. That rocks were just fading back with big weight. But it's been pretty consistent that way throughout the week so far. So one thing we have seen, Tony, is back eight. Almost every back sheet back has had more We're curl heavy. going towards We're the heavy. sheet A side and straighter going towards the sheet D side. Coming down. Interesting. And that's been the same for all four draws so far. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for that. I think that's one thing that you you love seeing in this these top tier events with this top quality of competition is that these guys make those adjustments so quickly. It's pretty phenomenal. And so much of curling, Tony, is that ability to make that adjustment first. The yeah. first teams to, to read Touché. that and get a feel for the ice. A lot of times makes the difference when two teams are evenly matched. Tom Howell, second stone here of the first end. For those that have watched Team Dropkin over the last few years, maybe haven't seen them recently, maybe surprised to see Corey Dropkin sweeping on this team. Something that... Uh, they changed fairly recently. Uh, Corey does still throw last stones, but Andrew Stepera in the house. Corey's one of those guys that really loves to sweep, so he's excited about the change and get some of that energy out of his system instead of just that last six feet behind the T line. Up. Up to me. One's good. One's great. You can go. Got to curl. Line's Second great. Team Keep Samson. curling. Keep curling hard. Marius Kleinus with, or excuse me, Coleman Thurston with his first throw. Kleinus at lead. As that center guard was moved, they push it back to the center. Decent positioning for Team Sampson with Rock in the back of the forefoot and one in the top eight. So getting some rocks and play right out of the gate, Tony. Always good for the announcers. Yeah, the yeah, top yeah, ones. Talk about okay. immediately. We're uh, we're due we for a uh, high, okay. high end game, Hack. hopefully. Some high action. Those doubles that yeah, John Schuster said that he's unable like to, to make. It. We might see okay. a couple of Boys, those in okay. our first end here. Yeah. Yeah, team Dropkin certainly a team that likes to throw the high hard one. Clear as many stones as they can. This would be more of a finesse shot from second Mark Fenner. Trying to dig out that rock, the top of the eight foot with maybe whoa, a whoa, whoa. hack the board weight shot. No. Here's the hack whoa. call from Tom. sweepers. Tom, This is the side where we've seen more Hard curl time. so far throughout the week, but this one right, move it, Tom. needs to get up a little more to move Hard that right, yellow right, stone. Right, 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 right. Pushes it to the open and does roll out. Same thing. Maybe a little on the full side, but Damn. both teams obviously working out the kinks early in the game. Yeah, first end, just kind of get a feel for the ice. Here is Thurston's second stone. Yeah, you're trying to get you back get to a there. similar position where they just were. Always curl. The top of the eight foot. Looks close, guys. It's really got to curl. Hard right, curl. Kevin, too, oh. trying to get this rock to oh, turn over. You really got to curl. All right, come on. Love to get it to the inside. It's there. not lined up at their own. That's a pretty good spot. Well positioned by this young squad. Kevin Tuma was the alternate on the Probably this. USA National Junior Team that I coached like that. back in 2020. And great young talent. To, the thing with working with juniors, though, is you know a couple of years go by and all of a sudden... They look like adults. <laughs> Makes you feel that much older, Tony. But yeah, Kevin yeah. is a, a great yep. young talent, really nice kid. I know I, I'm supposed to Hard. probably call him a young man. Yeah, young man, a, yeah. A young athlete at this point. Oh. That uh, run slash peel ends up just running two stones out in the back He's and losing their own. So Team Sampson in a very good but. position now with that rock that was thrown by Thurston. 
previously. Like we will see and Kevin moves. Tuma. Third for Team Sampson. No move here for you. Watching the two games previously here, most definitely Kevin's been their rock star the whole entire the whole entire week. I know they're 0 and 2, but their record is, they've been playing better than their record for sure. Back ball. Uh, back four. We're down. Looking to maybe tap a little bit on this shot. Back. In the out turn. Yep, hard, Marius. Hard. A little tight on the guard now. Hey, hard, keep going. Hard. You got to hold it. Keep going. Come on. Hard, 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 hard. Oh, squeeze keep going, by. Keep going. Keep going. Hard on How this. How far can they really move that go. red stone? Go, 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 go. It's a okay. biting back fours. Not sure which is Good count, three, but Angle's certainly playing in favor of Team Sanchez. That's good, right Kevin. Now. See a little conversation now between. I believe we are, yeah. Dropkin and Stepera about Not what they want to do. Corey will take over the house with Andrew throwing. Looks like red shot. Yeah. It does look like it. But Tony, I'll tell you, with the overhead shots, yeah, you're wrong a lot. I've said so many times already this week that I don't want to make a strong just, prediction on this. It does appear as though red is shot. I would also think that those stones will move at some point before the finish of this end. Yeah. Andrew Stepera looking to do that right now with this run back. Yep. Oh. Yes. Leaves the center there loses one of the red stones or one of the yellow stones but also their own counter maybe not quite what they were looking for and that center guard still there for team sampson i think speed's the same over yeah, here i think, I think 14 5. here the sweepers talking about a 14 5 for hog to hog time okay that's pretty close to what we've seen throughout the week so far the side of the sheet if it is indeed the uh, a little straighter, maybe a little faster. Keep an eye on the curl on both sides and Four. see if it does indeed maintain that same straighter side, swing ball. side that we've seen for the first four games. They jumped us, they so they're on it. Four, really gotta go. Very early, trying to get by the guard. And Top four. It's very close. Four. Don't really want to bounce off and leave a pocket here. We're bouncing. Only bounces a little bit, so that's not bad. I think, so. try to get I think them you'll all. see Stepera try to clear both of those and racing down to the other end to play the shot. And, and that's something to keep an eye on too, Tony. The teams that have their skip throwing third stones, the conversations, you, yep. you have more conversations than you normally would between the third and the skip or the fourth thrower and the skip for this situation. So you can take a little more time and make the the pace a little choppier, so regardless of the clock, it still does tend to slow the game down a little yep. bit. For sure. Oh, Whoa. Gets all of them moving on that. Hit a little different spot than they were attempting to, but loses two yellow stones anyways. All right, let's keep placing these. Still a successful end for, for Team Sampson that keeping Team Dropkin chasing, not allowing them to attack. Now the, the key is rock placement again with this one. This is well placed under the center guard. I'm sure you'll see another run back from Team Dropkin, but I think they might want to stagger this a little bit, maybe show half. Yeah, top eight. Makes sense. But even Halfway though, tucked. Yeah, even all the way buried would leave a difficult setup for Team Dropkin, so... Skip Ethan Sampson, his first stone of this Tuesday morning game. Turn down. Up to Up twelve. Up one. On only. Up. Up. Yes, line. Top four. We're heavy. We're there. We're on a little bit for line early, but the weight seems to be all there. Trying to. Top eight coming down. Now calling top eight. We're good. We're good. Easy. Easy. Easy to be carrying right to top four. That's a good position. That's fully buried. Yeah, that's definitely a teaser that Dropkin may decide to try to play heavy draw, come to that one and roll a little underneath. But if I'm Team Sampson, I don't have a problem with Dropkin playing the shot at all. Very difficult to get inside and not show 
a good piece a of piece. this stone. And if it does hang out a little bit, rolls open, and there's, there'll be a hit and roll for for Sampson to put a lot of pressure on Dropkin. And if it clicks that one in the top eights and rolls open, it'll be the same thing. So extremely precise shot from Corey Dropkin here. The broom they're taking, it looks as though they're playing a straight hit on this rock. That type of weight will be very difficult to get underneath. Do we determine this is the straighter side? Yes. Yep. Tradition. It should be, yes. Yep. Yeah. This rock yeah. should do a whole lot. Yes. Definitely a tight yep. stick. Yeah. Hard! Sweepers are holding it right now. Hard! Starting to curl. Hold it, keep going. Whoa, curl, 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 curl. Click this top stone and roll right, to the open. Now it's a matter of right, which will be second. Still two. Just trying. Good thing for Team Dropkin is where they chipped that yellow Let's counter to on the side of the four foot. I think we can afford be an in -off two less. For a point. I think so. We didn't Listen go very much there. Samson's looking at. I mean, yeah, Kevin's in the spot. Yep, same ice. But I think we're good here, though. Like, I think we're up to speed now. We just swept. A lot of broom yeah, for I this think, one compared to where they were taking it before. Be I think they're trying to really make sure they don't over curl and leave okay. the open hit. It's a little unfortunate for Sampson that that in off is there for drop. And they can't take both shots away, so you want to take the straightforward one out and just draw top fours and make Corey make that in off against three points. Tony, ideally, where do you want this rock to stop? You know, I'm thinking, you know, full four. You know, maybe even touching the button, but then that creates a little bit of a pocket. So, like, just like you mentioned, it's hard to it's hard to protect both shots. But I think you want to make it as difficult as possible. The full force is on here for sure. Just turning over pretty hard now. Really like this to sit now. That's a pretty good spot. Yeah. Even with the in off, do you get the click off that top one, maybe spill out a little bit or Yeah, that's the danger now for Team Drop and that they could just redirect off that top stone. It's possible that maybe all three could go, but I think the third stone would jam on the side red. But this is a tricky in off now because of where that rock ended up. That's a, a well placed stone by Team Samson. Corey has no choice but to play this, and with that broom he's taking, it, it looks like he's he's not overthrowing this and just playing a, a straight roll, not yeah. a double. But we'll keep an eye on this, too, because this is where we've seen rocks. It's just inside that fall line in the middle of the eight foot that we've seen. This could take a turn if he throws with soft weight. Last stone, first end. Team Dropkin looking at three. Corey playing the out turn hit and roll. Just to be maybe close. control yep. weight somewhere close. in there. Wait's good. Whoa. Close. Whoa, curl. Not curling yet. Not Hard yet. Curl. Staying out. Tom's Hard doing tongue. work. That's gonna end up just no is and does not Ooh. take the curl that Corey expected. So a steal of two. Big first in. Ethan Sampson's squad. Great start for the young guys. and They will lead 2-0. Dropkin will have Hammer going on to the second end.
Start of the second end for this draw number three, 2023 Men's USA Curling National Championships. Samson leading Dropkin 2-0 in the start of the second end means it's time to talk about our sponsor, Warm Room Hero. Is your curling club website clunky and unworkable? Are you tired of your club relying on social media because your website just does not work for your members? Finally, the curling management software your club has been waiting for is here. Check out Warm Room Hero at curling.club today. Tony, I already made the joke about the morning draws feeling a little clunky and unworkable. <laughs> I'm going to do it again anyways because it's kind of my go-to for these morning games. That's all right. <laughs> Looks like a decent decent turnout, though, for as far as fans here to watch some local talent, I'm watch good. some good curling. We had a lot of people in the building in uh, the first draw for the opening ceremonies on Sunday, which is great. Mine will be fine. Pretty regular thing for our national championships that you'll see – a little more sparse crowds during the week, especially during the daytime, as people do have jobs and things they need to do. Sure. But once we get close to the end of the week again, things start packing in and excited to see some good crowds for the weekend. And I know that when we had the Olympic trials in uh, the Denver area in 2009, which is still very difficult for me to talk about with that. Finish, <laughs> uh, you said it, fantastic. not me. Yeah, I, that's <laughs> why I'm going to be the one to bring it up. Yeah. Two, uh, room, the crowds were room. fantastic at the end of the week. We had a a lot of people Always in the building, looking forward to seeing that again. Got to curl a lot. Tie three right now. In fact, I We're was uh, on the way here. I was talking with my mixed Almost doubles partner, and she said, "Try not to bring up 2009." <laughs> <laughs> I appreciated having a heads up on that. Yeah, I, I actually didn't know uh, coming out here which venue we were playing, and I just with everything going on, I never really checked. So until I landed, I wasn't sure if it was in the same facility, the one in Broomfield. Uh, sure. That's uh, we played it in 09, so I was happy to see that uh, we're in the Coliseum and I don't have to actually walk back in. I, I told my uh, my driver coming in that oh, it would have felt I'm like okay. Bill Buckner walking back okay. into Shea Stadium, you know? <laughs> I can only imagine. <laughs> All right, Cooch. That's been Hard nice actually it. having it local. Hard um, cooch, bury it, go. You know, even at Hard. Rock Creek is keep going, where keep I going, keep going, keep going. You know, we have it on the live stream, YouTube, all that good yes. stuff. So the live streams have been most definitely clutch. So getting back to the action here, a just good start good. for Team Dropkin with Tom Howell's stones. Yeah, I agree. Good corner guard and one completely buried behind. Team Sampson with one of the fours and one on the top of the 12 foot. Marius Kleinus' stones. Coleman Thurston. I dropped it. I dropped it. That's pretty long. Guard, guard I imagine. Looking yeah. for center line somewhere oh, in that region. Got a curl. Oh, really got a curl. Curl. Line's good. Uh, curl. Really not turning over yet. Now Hard starting curl. to. Help him, Kevin. Got to go. Help him. Maybe not Hard seeing Ryan. that Bring it over. same yep. swing Hard. side that we Hard saw both. earlier in the tournament. Going towards sheet A, both t both sides seem to be running fairly similar right now, and I think Corey Dropkins last in the first end, he was expecting to see a little more curl, the same as we had seen already. So, which would make sense for the wide shot. Yeah, a little adjustment for yeah for all the teams now. See after John Schuster made that nice out turn or sorry intern oh. tap. Against Sampson for the win in the extra end last night. Off to a good start today with a 4-0 lead against the local team, Sobering. Daryl and his guys will try to get on the board and get back in that game. You like the guard again? Is it in? No. Okay, then yeah. A little bit of an aggressive play from okay. Team Sampson I'll playing the two feet last. guard once again as opposed to the short nice. run back on those two red stones. Normal ad there. Coleman Thurston Rose, second, Rose. another one intern guard, no basically replacing the one just threw. Felt like more, guys. Still got a curl. Mine will be okay. Mine's good. Stay close, Marius. Oh, oh, no, you're good. Oh, oh you're good. Looks like it'll split good. the center line close to it. Clock crosses a little bit. Pretty good location. Oh, you can make it thick, there but are it the might scores jam. around the horn. Schuster indeed with that 4-0 lead on Sobering. Rich Ruin yes. leading 1-0 over Danny Casper. 
And on sheet D. What were you saying? Team Dunham leading Team Smith 2-0 in the battle of our two unbeaten teams. So we will have one team alone at the top what? after this third game of the round He's robin. It's only with a like seven-game round robin as opposed to the nine-game round saying. robin that we're like used to from national. I don't know what you're saying. Three-zero start really has you in the driver's seat for this tournament. This? That's what I was talking. I was talking with uh, Smitty last night, and he was saying the same thing. He was really looking forward to today's what? game, and I mean, these what? two teams again have seen each other all year, so clear of should be some high-quality shots of made on last sheet as well. And it should be noted that not only are those teams two and zero, both with a, a pretty good. Uh, trophy in the case already with Team Dunham with a win over Dropkin and Team Smith with a win over Schuster. Amen so it feels like an extra win when you get one off of our two uh, national front this. runners, our world reps from the last few years. Peel? Yeah. Yeah, I think you got a peel here, don't you? Yeah, and this lines up uh, well for a possible triple for Mark Fenner. Obviously throws the high hard one well and wants to get as many of these going as he can. Fading back a little bit. Thinks it's just going to be a straight peel right now. Yep. Just a touch on the wide side. Just got it. I haven't seen anything different on that turn. That going towards sheet D looks to be as, it's, as straight as it's yeah. been for the first four draws so far. And again, Team Samson ignoring those red stones. Put it back. Another center guard attempt from Kevin Tuma. All there. Top 12. Yeah, we're real, we're Top real 12. Tight. Real tight. Top eight. Sweepers believe this is in the house. Top eight. Girl. Staying far away from it, that's for sure. Top top four. All the way to top four. Hard, keep going. They're trying not to line up the triple, but I think we may have done just that. Yeah. Or we just make the double and try to roll. But with Second count, the number one open. Dropping the Stepera, we're actually eyeballing. Control? Hitting the number one for like a second. Here? Doesn't appear that they'll stick with it. I'd be surprised okay. if they didn't play the the triple. Try to lose all these. I think really if for like... some, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to no, cut no, you ahead. off, but I think, me. yeah, if, if for some reason, somehow you missed this triple, right? That shot will probably still be there, I think. Even with the down weight hit, right? Just the rollover to closer to the red. Yeah, and, and with this, the, the shooter is important, too. They don't want to move their own corner off and open up the one under the corner oh. guard. So. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. They do indeed make contact Easy. with all three. We'll see if they all go. Two yellows leave, one for a biter, and looks as though Dropkin is sitting, too. Look at this, so peel. Okay. Which one are we heading? We're on the nose. And a nose hit to clear both for Sampson. Out. I think if that situation presents it, itself Kevin. again in the game, maybe a good idea to play that double on those two red stones. And you can still roll over and have a center guard from that right. shot they had. Hill. Now yep. Yep. two is hard. in the picture for really hard. Team Dropkin. Whoa, whoa, play it over. Trying whoa. to play it the oh, other roll way. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Keep going, Does keep going, keep jam going. Jam and stick in. Shooter rolls in. 10-5. Yep. Andrew Stepera will be playing the in-turn hit on the number two counter. They have a stopper rock over in the wing as well. Stopper as that biter. If they do hit the outside of the stone, then... Most definitely have tightened up the broom. Yeah, I wouldn't expect to see much curl at all on this shot, but they do have some margin for error on the outside with that yellow biter as something they can roll into. I think that would help the angle to not give a double opportunity close. for Team Sampson. Maybe a hair down. Whoa. Hair down. Just a soft way it hit. Close. Howell cleaning this stone. Now taking a little bit of a turn. There goes. Does indeed use that stopper and roll over. That's a well-played shot by Stepera. That's what I was kind of thinking. I feel like you played this way and tried to keep it flatter. I, 
I'd be really disappointed if there wasn't some trash talking I mean, going with Mike Moore and Mark Lazar really at that table right behind. Right? Yeah. Those two have been around a oh, yeah, long time, right? Very good friends. Uh, right? Mark and I were in Mike's wedding. Oh. And uh, Mark actually coached Mike and I in juniors back in 2003. Yeah. Championships in yeah. at Broomstones forever ago that is 20 years ago now that is oh staggering. man aging yourself that's now, right Tyler. john Look 20 out. years ago <laughs> oh man <laughs> we did take the bronze in that run very proud of that that's one pretty great yeah, just normal here oh mark and, and mike very good friends another partner in the booth running tech joel deets Played juniors with Mike and Mark before I came on board with those guys. So that's Ten. the curling world in a nutshell. And who knows everybody really tight knit. I would Whoa. have to assume there's some kind of friendly wager on this one between yeah. these two coaches. There's got to be dinner or something. One is not curl enough to stick around. And I think you'll see Drop can split the rings and play for his two. Not a great opportunity for a three right now. Could be a like possible split the if they have the opportunity on last shot, but for now they just want to split things up. Do pretty similar. At the end, I guess that's always the advantage of having a little tight guard. Leave your options open. Last couple stones, still get that into play if you need it. So Dropkin playing the out turn draw to. Even up, top eight foot would be ideal. Tony, this is the fastest track on the sheet, too. Going towards sheet D on the center line. So be very careful not to overthrow like or let eight. this glide. I'm sure it's Corey's curl. aware of this. It's curl. Just top eight. Like if you're you gotta go Anytime way back. you see those sweepers on off, I think that's usually a pretty good sign. May have... He bruises just a little bit. Let's go a hair deeper, but not deep enough to allow for the double. Oh, I'd rather make sure we stick. They're eyeing it, though. I think we just hit this one. Yeah. I think we just hit this and stay. It's probably the safe bet. Let's make a good roll here, yeah. boys. I think they're talking about just the hit and stay. I'd like to see him roll a little bit to the good. middle, actually. Going that that may have allow for a double opportunity yeah. oh i'm sorry this is his last yeah. so that's why the 8 a.m games you gotta yeah <laughs> get, i'm only maybe a third of a cup of coffee in have not opened my dr pepper zero sugar We're yet trying to roll under getting closer <laughs> it is ready yeah well they have an or no his head i think you should be pretty aggressive one of the keys with broadcasting yeah, tony's self-deprecation <laughs> yeah. it's impossible not to go through and not make mistakes it's usually what I say I, on the golf I course. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that well, it's yeah, that translates <laughs> right. to playing curling and golfing oh, as well. That yeah, you're gonna mess up. It's gonna happen. Amen to that. But you know, we, we have the heart of a champion here in the booth, and yes, we recover sir. from these mistakes. So Ethan Sampson with his last stone of the second. Hey. Same weight, nine. Just looking We're for up. a stick. Nine five. Sweepers think this might be a little up, but line looks to be okay. Really turning over though. Can drop can get it out of shots. That, sorry, I, that was a weird weight call by me. Meant it's a little miscommunication you hear from the sweepers there. They actually called the wrong number for weight, so they hesitated on the sweep and ends up over curling and rolling out. But at least the accountability there from Thurston. So Dropkin has a draw to touch the eight foot, even this game at two. Throwing the intern. Let me get my own clock on this one and see if Mine's we're right in that 14-5 region that players have been talking about. Sweepers on it early. Yeah, they are. Running like it's okay. Can't hurt it though, right? No 
don't look like they're overly concerned at this point. Still sweeping. Get it, you got it. 15-3 on my clock, Tony, so sweepers were definitely needed, but Howell and Fenner, make no mistake, sweep that right to the top of the forefoot. Two, two red. That will even this game at two points after two ends in draw three of the men's competition. Two We are back for the start of end number three in Denver, Colorado at the Denver Coliseum. Feature game this morning, Team Sampson and Team Dropkin trading twos after two ends. Sampson will have Hammer in the thirds. Tyler George with local legend Tony Cott. Thank you, sir. Tony, you were just telling me that you played a nine-game round robin in three days in a mixed event, and uh, I, I can't... Good. I can't envision myself signing up for that one for any purpose. That's we a didn't, lot of curling. Lying yeah, close. in all fairness, we didn't know we didn't, what we were signing up for when we signed up, but we pulled Lying it good. off. It was it was good. Uh, uh, great competition. Actually, Dave Falco's team won it. Finish. Finish. And um, yep. they were top team all week. So it was a lot of fun. A lot of curling. A lot of curling. Team Dropkin with the center guard to start this third end. Sampson wasting no time and calling for the outturn come around draw. Marius Kleinus. Yet another lefty in this field. It seems as though there's a lot of them. We gotta go. We actually talked last night about how many competitive teams we've seen with two lefties. Really gotta go. Strauss on the women's side has two. Three, we're never in the house. And uh, I neglected to realize, or remember, I should say, that some friends from the circuit, uh, Team Val Sweeting from her old squad, oh. had Val and Dana Ferguson both as left-handers on the squad. Most well, definitely throws you off every time I play with Sean Stevenson. He always I'm he good. always catches me off guard, <laughs> standing on the wrong side of the hat. I think we might have a record for most left-handed players. Okay, Corey's in, rock. It's Corey. In the Nationals, Corey. even with only eight teams, I I can't remember seeing this many in the Corey past. To go. Sixteen with the if women's. Can, I should say. So we'll come around draw for Howell. Right to the top of the button. Tommy makes no mistake on that weight. Kleinus did come up short on his lefty outturn come around draw. <laughs> now we'll be playing the intern on the opposite side, trying to freeze to that team Dropkin Stone. A bump wouldn't be a bad thing either. Moving that rock behind the T line as long as you stay on that line. Don't believe that this one has the weight for a tap, but they're trying to at least get it to a Just freeze. There, yeah. Coleman Thurston trying to get a little extra curl out of it too, but that's going to settle in just fine. Good recovery after that first miss by Kleinus. Perfectly placed stone. Team Dropkin not afraid to stack rocks in the middle of the sheet with Team Drop or Team Sampson. So Fenner playing the outturn draw. Another freeze. Play something similar to what Kleinus just threw. Careful early. Oh, line's good. Line's good. Line's close, real good. Close, close. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Just cleaning this rock. I think you this go. is line's good. real close right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Really on. patient on the curl. sweeping. I've been noticing that the, this last couple of rocks here, just waiting for that curl to start taking place, and then they hammer it home. Yeah, some good execution right now both, both ways, and good position from Mark Fenner. 
I, I think we've, we're seeing a little straighter ice on this outturn going down towards sheet A than what we've seen in previous games, too. Maybe you both ways that it's going to curl the same amount going towards a sheet A or sheet D. Well, the players were hoping to get a little bit more curl than what we've seen for the first couple days, and it doesn't look like that's the case to this point. And wouldn't be surprised to see the rocks sanded probably sometime very soon before you get later in the week so they can settle in. Of course, sanding the rocks for those that don't know, or papering them. Line's good, Tommy. For it. Using a, a rough Line's good. sandpaper Careful. or other similar surface. Line's good. To get more curl Line's on the good. running surface of the stones. Line is absolutely tight. Usually okay. after they do that for the first game, they curl Not considerably Not more Never Corey. Yeah, Never I was just going to ask you, do you, you, see, do you think they do that mid-competition? Well, they did it in the Olympics, so. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> I would think wow. that they would do it here, too. Yeah. They didn't really sense. give us a heads up until just before the game. Corey. It was happening, which players weren't too pleased about at the Olympics, like but me? I can everybody imagine. had to deal with it. And the rocks usually settle in after a game or two, so we had the right amount of curl for what we wanted to see at the end of the competition, which was what we wanted. But, yeah, you'll have a game after you do that, at least one, where the rocks are curling a lot more. And the, all the teams have to adjust to that. So it's always an interesting draw to watch. Double peel attempt by Sampson. Crosses and only gets the one. Holman Thurston's stone rolling to a corner guard. Team Dropkin has to be happy with this rock setup and this positioning. Are we looking same spot, just high See half, over on sheet C, a steal of three in the second Sorry, end for Team Ruin and leading 4-0 over Danny Casper's squad. Rich looking to get on the board with a win again this morning. And 4-0 start will give you a pretty good opportunity to do that. Tight, yeah. tight, 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 tight. Just inside half. Tight. Right, I'll be good. Just past Jason the yellow. Smith gets a two back. Even with the yellow. Against Team Dunham. Now Even two, with the two. yellow. Close for curl. Scott Cooch Jason. a little bit. Cooch. Daryl Sobering on the board. 4-1. Daryl does get a point. Yeah. Going to need a few more Based to climb back into that one against yeah, the double might be our Olympic now. reps. Yeah, you can punch ours in nice. I so a good guard there from right, go, Stapera. But a double peel opportunity for Team Sampson. If this hits just right, they may even be able to punch their own guard back into the rings. Maybe hit about a third of a stone. Hell! Oh. This one going backwards a little bit. Yeah. Does make the double peel. Good. Yeah. See a lot of reason for Team Dropkin to not replace again with a guard, though. The way these rocks yeah. are set up, Dropkin doesn't want to be the one to move these stones around. They, they well, want these staying right where they're at, and reason. there's really no opportunity for a two-point yeah, end for Team Sampson as long as these curling. rocks stay just where they're at. So another guard will be the play. Pretty similar. A couple feet less, real close. When push comes to shove, you just Line keep good. throwing all the guards, or you? I mean, Line at some point, do you ever come in the house if you're Corey? I don't think there's much reason just for Corey to do Line anything logo. but guard as long there, as Cooch. Samson keeps over there. feeling ripping. Hard, Cooch, go. There may be a point where Hard, Cooch, go. Hard, Samson decides all the way, to all the way, all the way, all the way, go, go, go. The button, but it's a very precise shot. This may be a spot with a little bit of air on the outturn side that they could play a tap and move this around, but Save turn. they think maybe a run could clear all three reds. Their yellow may stick around. And then they may have the opportunity on skip stones to try to find a two. The old so run skip backs. Outturn run on the way from Kevin Tuma. 
Uh, and dead right. sticks. And leaves the guard with two reds behind it, so not ideal on the result. And those types of shots, Tony, it's, it's difficult because the difference between the spot you have to hit for the perfect make and the one that ends up the worst case scenario are basically right next to each other. Yeah. It's just and I think that's where you got to just like draw that. the fine line between how high the guard is and how close the guard is, right? Just, you know, just make that shot a little bit more difficult. Yeah, and the... I, I thought they might just try to play something soft, come around and bump those and try to reposition. They thought they could lose all three reds, and I think they could if they hit it right. But the problem with playing that run is if you're going to make something where all those reds go, the, the shooter still has to stay. Yeah. And there's a decent chance that exactly what happened is, is the result, and the shooter's still there too. So now a great setup for Team Dropkin to try to get a steal Get on top. This broom, I think this might be Tight, like just a little go. tap. You can go a little bit. Move Tom. that rock up to the forefoot. Roll in a couple short, inches. Short. Hard time. Do you ever just Keep throw a guard there. here, top 12? I think they want to move that back a little bit whoa, whoa, whoa. because it'll make scoring that much more difficult no, 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 for Sampson. But this one it looks stop. like it's just going to die. Now they're trying to tick so it doesn't overcurl, but ends up just being a guard instead. A little bit of an error there from from Dropkin. And now you see the reason why they wanted to move that because we have the overhead. Samson will draw to try to get to the yeah. There's room back there. The back of the floors. I think Corey will have access to his own. That's number one count to possibly tap yeah. it into this stone that Samson throws. But I don't know that they have a lot of option but to play this anyways. Yeah, I mean, personally, I think, you know, that guard that they just threw protects their run back, right? Since they were favoring that for the last two rocks. So let them put it back, and I think, you know. Whoever laughs. That does affect the, the run back attempt, yeah. I don't know that Dropton would have minded too much if they played that run, because on skips first, it's really eliminating much opportunity for Sampson to score more than one. It's fair. <clears throat> but still forced into a very difficult draw on his first. He needs to get to probably T back four in order to bury back enough four, back eight. Coming down a bit. Coming down a lot. Good spot. We gotta go. We gotta go. Thinking they need to really go. Gotta go. wait now. Top four. Rock's starting to turn too. A little bit of a late read on that one. That yeah. didn't get anywhere near the top of the four. Yeah, like Sweepers seem to think that it came down a lot and that it was at least top four. But top I think that's the second time that they kind of mis one of misjudged two. the weight on there. Maybe they need some of your Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I don't know if the old DP Zero Sugar is a performance and had some substance on the ice. Okay. I feel like it is in the booth at least. Like here then? I don't think I've Look, ever really been this excited end. for a fifth end break. <laughs> you hear my former teammate John Schuster on microphones on the next sheet, his yelling. No surprise there. John, yeah. John makes sure that he's he's heard everywhere. Leaves no doubt. Yeah, that's by design. That's a good See, thing. One minute. You know, I, I don't think I ever said the words to John during a game. I'm sorry, I just I didn't hear you. No, we, we just didn't catch that call. Close, Tom. Up eight. Top four. Close, Tom. Close, close, close. Yep. Leave no doubt. Hard line. But, uh, what so movie Dropkin now playing the same in turn draw that, that Samson was Hard. attempting, trying to tight. come around to oh, then. top of the forefoot. But this is over curling, too. It's off the rings. We're really losing, oh, yeah, speed on that line or over or, or gaining curl. That's the side that we really haven't seen a lot of curl for them. So similar result from both of those throws. And now we'll see if Samson can solve this riddle, get to the forefoot for their one. 
Drawing against two, so an yeah. important draw early in the game for Ethan Sampson. For 15 6 He'll be going out into the wings, making sure they give themselves yeah, enough room. Always interesting to see if the speed's any different when you get this far out there, Tony. Yeah. The you always fear that, but I think they got, they've got a pretty good handle on it. As long as they're able to judge the weight properly, the sweepers, they can get it there. I think it's open. Yeah, we haven't quite gone out this far, but yeah. Okay. Just keep it boom down. Yep. So final stone of this third end. Ethan Sampson looking to draw full fours for his one point. I don't think the line should be a problem this time. No, line's good. Gotta go. Sweepers think it needs to go a little. Fours back. Keep going. Well, they're curling it. Line should be just fine. Yeah. It's all about the weight. That's it. That's really well done. Yep, Great well done by Ethan Sampson. Really Great read by the sweepers. He does indeed get his point. We will go on to the fourth end with Sampson leading dropped in 3-2. Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Denver, Colorado for the start of N4, the 2023 USA Curling Men's National Championships. Team Sampson leading Team Dropkin 3-2 at the start of the fourth end. Sampson going right back to a center guard, trying to keep pushing the action. And Tony, we've seen a lot of rocks around the center line in this game so far. A lot of jockeying for position. Well, that... No tick rule is a game changer. Like, I think not a, a lot of people were anticipating of the, the effect that it would have on the game that it most certainly has. Team Dropkin going to the wing this time, trying to stay out of that center line draw game. Line's Stretch nice. this to the wings. He's going to the side of the 12 foot with this throw by. Good. Howell, the, or guard, yes, sorry, yeah. the pair who's pointing in the rings. So they are, they do go to a corner guard. Okay. I think you'll see Stapera try to continue to push that action to the outside of the sheet. Sampson will be doing the opposite, going under the center guard. Seems like force team drop and ah, come back close. to the center. Pulls the line. Top 12. Room. See over on sheet A. Top 12, got to go here. Appears as though the Schuster's found their feet. Now with a five in the third end, leading 9-1 after three against Daryl Sobering. That in-off that he had was just a pure butte. Good. His last stone. Good. There it is, that score. Schuster 9-1 over Sobering through three. Danny Casper gets two to... Cut the deficit in half against Rich Ruin for two to score. And she B. Line's good. After a blank in the third, still 2 2 between Smith and Dunham. Line's good. I did not see that in off, Tony, but I'm going to take a stab and say it was an out turn. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> not that he can't make the in, but that's the one I would not want to leave him. That's He's, he's going to make that shot the vast majority of the time. Should have told Nick, tell Nick that, tell the coach for Stop sobering, it. don't leave the out turn. 
does that. Fine. I do because the punch is theirs out. At the, the top levels of the sport, it, it, it's less about if somebody has a weak turn or uh, something that the, you know, they they don't make as much. Sure. But there are shots you'd rather have an opponent playing as opposed to then another one. Bunch. So, like, if we're playing Kevin Cooey, if we could choose be between hair slower over here. Cooey throwing his in turn or his out turn, we choose his in. Gotta but curl. the difference is he probably curl. makes his out turn 90% of the time turn 85% of the time. Line's great now. Yeah, at that well, point, it's just math, now. huh? <laughs> Wait only. Yeah, so with Later, the Schuster, it's, it's not a, a weak turn. Good. It's just for those circus shots, if it's an out turn, I, I like his chances a lot. Yeah. Feel this way? More that you light up when you Whatever. see, oh, John's got an out turn yeah. rod. Yeah, I, let's get that broom down. Let's play it. Yeah. <laughs> It's good to know coming up in a couple of weeks. Maybe I'll bait them into some of those at the Mixed Devils Nationals. Yep. yep. Hard. 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 Okay. Oh, that's I'm good. Bad. Run back there. Break them up Yo, a little bit. Yeah, not trying right. to change up the angles with that run. But keeps the shooter around as well, which can be used to try There's to set up a like multiple this. point end. Or even just freeze the intern. It's a little yeah. tough to get there. We can definitely make it there. If we play it off of our own, it's fine. I'm on that. Just stop yeah, eight. If we chisel, it's okay. Yeah, if you chisel off, it's fine. Okay. Do you like top eight. Weight? I think same weight's pretty close, yeah. Okay. So Coleman Thurston now playing intern draw. I felt there. Boom. Trying to get inside that guard. Curl. 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 Hard curl. Hard curl. Starting to get Mine's this. Mine's getting good. Hard. Now. Keep going. Mine's really good. Until it stops. Like to tap that a little bit Hard. and roll yep, in. Yep, 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 yep. That's a uh, very good solid. result. Yep. I like that line up a lot. 10-5. Just a pair of calling for the hit and roll on the number one counter. Spread these rocks out a little bit. Doesn't want to roll only a foot or two, which would leave a, a double for Team Sampson, but Whoa, he's very well positioned there for Whoa, curl. Whoa. this young curl, squad. Curl. Hard curl. Corey Dropkin oh, trying to get this to curl going, to stick going, around going. in the outside of the house. Sweet. Good. I think that should still have some paint, and does. You just, yeah. I, suppose, yeah, I was just gonna say a freeze, well. maybe in the same chisel. Yeah, as long as they keep these lined up on that right angle, it, there's eight? not a whole lot that Dropkin can do top with eight? it. Top 12. So okay. Just throwing a, a freeze to their own stone, trying to keep that angle going straight on to the red. And a, a more experienced call, too, for for this younger squad that a lot of times, as soon as you see that line up, you think, okay, we can play that short run. We get rid of that. You don't need to do that Lines quite good. yet in this end, as long as it's still Lines good. set up Line only. We're bumping. A little bump would not be a bad thing either because it four. cuts Top down four. the scoring Curl space then. for dropping. So ideally, Wait, just a little We're just tap freezing. to freeze would be good. Whoa, whoa, then. Whoa, whoa, line's good. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's all right. Good. That's real good. I'd like to see them actually finish that a little more and get the tap to a freeze. Dropkin may decide just what? to draw open back fours or somewhere in there. I don't like that at all. Nope. It'd be tough for him to make that redstone on the outside 12 foot count with where these rocks are set up. Still have four rocks to go in the end though. A lot of conversation early in this game between Stepera and Dropkin. I don't know how much that's affecting like their clock, but... Shot, Rock, well, I, what do you like, then? Like, where it's... You know. We'll try to Better. bank a little bit of time for late in the game and not have too many of these longer conversations. I just think if you miss that... I think any time, though, that you can... Trouble. get set up for a big end, you want to take as much time as you probably need, right? I think it's the yeah, there are more important shots mm -hmm. where you want to make sure you're doing the right thing if you think you have an opportunity to 
score a multiple point end or prevent your opponent from doing so. Looks like they're going to try to get something moving with Corey cleaning that house up. Playing the run back. Yeah. Hoping to leave the stone they're running in in the house. They know they're going to lose their own playing this. But they can still have two red in if the Razor Rock stays in. Mark. And the jams on the side, but still a pretty good result. Here we go, Kevin. It does four. open up the house so that they can uh, play to try to score two with Stepera's last stone and, and both of Dropkins. They do take their self out of shot rock playing that, but again, with the way the rocks were lined up, difficult not to leave that. Only other option really was just to throw a draw to I the open side. I think we're not. Sit two that way. Top four, top eight. The line seems tight. Line then I think you running. just saw Samson running. come with the hit and probably do something similar, right? We're good. Top four. Top four, C. Coming down. Top, top eight. We gotta go, we gotta go. Line looks pretty good for pretty good. Yeah. Samson here. They don't want to go any deeper than top four, but they still want to bury. That's pretty good. Might see Drop can play a little freeze, maybe a little bump. Here. See if they elect to play that or the run. They will play the run. Stick the run. Stepera did throw this same shot already. And How much weight? Uh, normal. Always good to play the same shot twice in a row. So a little bit of a conservative call. So out turn run for Andrews to para. Love to stick this dead on the nose, stay underneath. Also can roll it a little to the outside on the whoa, other whoa, corner. Whoa. Roll it, roll, roll, roll. Over curls on him and will straight peel. Roll over to a corner on the opposite side. So I think you'll see a guard call immediately from Team Sampson. Just looked like yeah. Stepera couldn't quite get that one out of his hand. Just a little soft release. Yeah, this does look like tighter ice. Kevin's came over pretty good. But... Just the two and a half. Yeah. Okay. Ethan Sampson playing this intern guard. Tony, where would you like this depth-wise? How deep do you want to see this guard? Yeah, I kind of like it even with that red zone, honestly. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily want it too too close to make that run that run double very hard, but I think just like a two and a half, three, somewhere in there. Yeah, I think a two and a half range is probably I about agree. right. You don't want to leave it high enough that it's easy for drop to come around and dig it out or play a bump, but if it's right up tight to the house, then it makes the run back short. Almost in. But if I'm We're if I'm in. Samson, I would prefer to have them playing the run Stopping really as opposed nice. to the draw because there's zero Six. chance of scoring a two if that's Six. the case. That's definitely tighter yeah, than they wanted. But at the same time, if they play this run, again, you've eliminated the opportunity for Dropkin to score two. Yeah, I think you just got to throw the freeze now or consider the freeze, I guess. Yeah, with how tight that guard is, I don't think that Corey has much option but to play the run. It just really isn't a good spot to throw the freeze too. So, yeah. So this will be a run and try to roll the shooter away a little bit. You see where they're taking that broom? It tells you <laughs> how little this is curling. I think you just throw I peel. You saw the pair signal that they are trying to play it on the wide side of the stone, where the shooter rolls out wide and not crosses over. Here's the run back oh. attempt from Corey Dropkin. This one fading backwards too. And just mm. glides by. Yeah. 
There's a reason why they took as tight a broom as they did. They know that that's going to fade. I think we throw a set. Jumps out there. Just a little bit outward momentum on that release and, and no margin for error on that straight line. It's now a good opportunity to put a little more pressure on for Team Samson. Yep. Throwing a draw to the top of the 12 yeah, I foot. We didn't touch that. Yeah. Like, literally didn't even that. Just biting would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah, full 12 and. Yep. Yeah, pro side. Stagger it a little on the, the, the center line it. side. So you cut off the draw a little bit, too. Yep. Make drop can draw against three. If he throws this to full 12, there is no hit that they can score with. So, I'd really like to. Th at Throw another counter in as long as you're guarding. Put it in the rings and they can draw against an extra point. You just don't want to go any deeper than. We're there. It's top yeah. 12. Top 12. Uh, we're Good call, Coleman. No, no, no. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We're, we're on. Line looks very good. We're there, guys. Don't want any deeper than that, though. They're yeah. all there. Well, that carries all the way in and does leave the double if Dropkin elects to play it, but draw for one, forces for on. One. I think if that rock had been two inches closer to the center line, Corey would have played the double, but there's a chance he rolls out playing the double anyways. He doesn't hit it just right, so he will play the draw. Which will be uh, against three points. Of that one. Seen a few draws against Let's points already in this track. game from the skips. Field, yeah. Some good testers early. Dropkin will be playing this in turn to full fours to score. See Corey always take that extra time for that little deep breath. Staying in his routine. I got close, Tommy. Mine's good. Final stone of the fourth Mine's on the good. way. Howell and Fenner looking to guide this one into the forefoot for the single point Mine's good. for Dropkin. Looks like it's gliding a little bit right now. Mine's good. 45. Starting to turn over. Howell just valeting it to the button. Very well done by Corey Great Dropkin. Shot. Sweepers could have taken a break on that one. Yeah. So right to the lid to even the score once again. After four ends. Samson three, Dropkin three. The everyday person may not aspire to be a professional athlete or an Olympic athlete. You may just want to be the best person you can be. You just may want to sleep better. You may want to feel better. Thorne has many products that can support all of those things. So it's not just about performing or running faster or jumping higher. It's those little things that go into having a higher quality of life. Start of the fifth end, which means it's time once again to talk about Warm Room Hero. And the fifth end break is brought to you by Warm Room Hero. The intuitive curling club software that takes the stress out of schedules, registrations, and more. Warm Room Hero, a platform built by curlers for curlers. Check out Warm Room Hero at curling.club today. We changed it up a little bit. Instead of doing it at the fifth end break, we're doing it at the start of the fifth. We got to keep people on their toes. Amen. So that break is coming, I promise. But things get too static. It gets boring. So we're going to throw that out there to start out the fifth. Thanks again to Warm Room Hero for sponsoring the event. Anthony DeArco out of the Windy City Curling Club, Chicago, Illinois. Both teams have started, I think, every end of this game, Tony, with, with a center, center line, line guard. guard. We haven't yeah. seen anybody go into the rings to – start things off so i think you're gonna see that though with the tight game everyone trying to figure out all their hits <laughs> yeah we've seen in some other games the delay corner played by teams where if somebody goes in they hit and roll to the wing and yeah. then throw the corner guard with their oh, lead board. second throw okay. of the end but no opportunity for that with these teams Stop. going into the Stop house it. to start Stop with it. Stop it. 
Team Sampson wanting to control the center, going to the top of the eight foot underneath. That's a very well placed stone. It's good. That's really good. Can't hand place that one better. Good shot by Marius Kleinus. Following this in, I would imagine. Other turn. Touchdown, okay. Tommy Howell. Close for line, Cooch. Out turn freeze attempt. Line's good. Close. Go. Yep, yep. You can go. Hard. Did you just call him touchdown, Tommy? Hard line. Touchdown, Tommy. Okay. Hard. Get Tommy it here, guys. Line's good. Karaoke good. singing. <laughs> Long walks on the beach. And making freezes to rocks on the top of the eight foot. That is well thrown by Tom. Yeah, same throw. I have seen Tom sing karaoke multiple times too, and he's sometimes even when music isn't playing, he just he just fills the room. Any random place. Yeah. yeah. Hair down. I think when you're in the front of the house, that's part of the that's part of the job description. <laughs> Marius Klein is the second of this hey, we're there. fifth end team. Samson with hammer. Top twelve. Looking to refreeze on this stone from. Got to go now. Team Dropkin. That bounces off ah, and sorry. leaves a open double or hit and roll inside, whichever Stepera prefers. They will play to roll in. You can just make this too. A little bit of a discussion about exactly where they want to roll this too, but they are sticking with the soft weight intern pass, trying to roll in. Oh! Curl, 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 curl. A little bit of curl. Uh, outward momentum on that release from Fenner. So Hard curl. Corey Dropkin trying to get this to carve and turn over. Yeah. Not kill either, then. Will instead move both yellow stones. Doesn't clear either. Oh, I think here. you might see a, a run here from Sampson. Get rid of that one. center Why and... The rock in the top of the eight foot while they can. I don't like the rep. I think we're sitting nice. Could also hit the outside red. Roll in. I, I kind of like. I kind of like the lock right there. Lock on that front one. Just pin it right there. Freeze it. I like this. Yeah, the difficulty with playing the freeze on a rock in the top of the eight foot when you have hammer is that it's going to be tough to make that rock score. And Dropkin's probably hitting Mind the hair tight. that number one counter immediately, and then they'll sit out there, guys. At least two, possibly three, and you're chasing again. Hard. So if they could get this to stagger it a little behind that rock, Mind it'd be better than frozen on it. Hard, you got to freeze. Then hard, hard, keep going hard. Does end up top 12 foot, but it's only fifth count. Yeah. I don't think Corey minds that result in the least bit. Stepera, as we mentioned, immediately going to hit that number one counter. Yep. Close. Yes. Yep. Clean. Close. Mark oh, Fenner attempting curl. this clean, intern clean. hit once again. Yep. Line looks a yep. lot better on Hard. this. Trying to get a oh, roll oh, inside. Oh, 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 oh. And that is perfectly done by Fenner. Leaves a small piece showing, but yeah, now it's a run. Now that that run back that they considered on the last one will definitely be the choice on this shot. See how many Coleman Thurston can get moving. Close. This is a little on the wide side as well. I would like to see Sampson maybe look for the plan B and flip that outside red one on that, uh, that throw, but ends up just going between the Two red stones and ends up a straight peel. What do you think? Guard. 
Guard. Now the other. Like the guard, right? Guard. Our first good broom slam of the day from Shea. Chris Plies gets his money's worth on that one. Always good when you, you get frustrated with a seven point lead, though. <laughs> Can't be too bad, Chris. Everything's okay. But good to get it out of the system, anyways. Just shows good competitive nature. <laughs> I don't He's have a problem with a little Play. slam. Every no yeah. Line will be okay. We've all been there. Line's ah. good. Line's good. No, not me. Never. Never? I, good. Well, of course I have. Yeah. <laughs> Let it stop. For what? So curl, replacing curl, curl, guard curl. for Team Dropkin, right on the Infinity logo. I'm saying here, Kevin. See another run back attempt from Team Sampson, Kevin Tuma. Again, you see that broom right on the center of the stone. Not expecting any curl whatsoever on these peel weight shots. It can be a good thing if you believe that it's going to go right to where you put the broom. Kevin with a little inside out release there, and that's fading back a little. And just papers by again, just a little late on the plan B sweep from, from Sampson. Almost looked like a small little pitch out right there, just with the release. Yeah, but and Kevin being the alternate from our junior national team that we had at the World Championships. That's kind of how he throws that shot. He, he always has a little bit of an in-out release, sliding to the tight side of the broom, which is fine when you're setting it to the stick. It can be a little bit of an issue when the ice is really straight because you have so little margin for error on that outward release. So when there's swingy ice, it can be a weapon. With this type of ice, you have to be very precise in where you're fading that more. release back to. You saw on that one, it, it didn't look more. severe, but right. just no margin for error with how straight that I'm line good. is. A little more. Two feet more. Just Two feet more. Let it stop. A foot more. Coming down. So just another a guard replacement oh, now for Dropkin. Looks to be pretty much identical to the last good. one. Good. This will be a third attempt at the run back now for Sampson squad. Really need to get those rocks moved around somewhere before they get to skip stones. So very important that Kevin Tuma makes some contact with those rocks in the rings. I like that throw a lot better from Kevin this time. Yep, there it is. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yes. A little unlucky in where all of that ends up, but at least moves that stagger around. Drop can still undercover. The number one counter and sitting, we believe we about is, this? I'm gonna say just one. I can't really tell on that overhead, but. Still gonna play it. Drop can sitting at least one. Now with that overhead, uh, does appear to be yellow from this angle, so could just to be catch one the curl. On I think he either half buried out with the out turn or dead even. You just put this top 12, yeah? Play the freeze here, or you've just yeah. put a top 12. It looks like Dropkin's going to come all the way around. I don't think he's going to come to dead frozen, but maybe just the top eight, barely oh, short of it. Around. Could also tap a little bit. You got to go around, you got to go. Top four. Area that top much four. Smaller. Yep. yep. Tom, Tom. Coming down. Oh, then, whoa, whoa. Top four. It does look whoa, like they're whoa, trying whoa, to move this stone a little bit. Need it to curl curl's so it doesn't it. bounce off and open. Eight. That's not an ideal spot to leave that rock. All right. Could be a triple there now for Team Sampson, depending on if that number one counter jams on the back yellow stone. We'll be close. I think it's worth playing regardless. 
even though they're probably already third count, they still would need to use that redstone as a stopper. Three quarters. You have more. Their it's three quarters. To play maybe a hack the board, wait out, shot, hit the number one counter, and try to roll under down. the rock in the top of the 12 foot, sit second and third. Maybe even shot rock. Could be first and third, but yeah. they are lining up for the triple. You have enough for this, for sure. You what do you think, Tony? Does that rock jam on the side yellow, or does it go by? I think there's a, I think there's a little drag. I don't think it full jams. I think it just kind of trickles into right. the top four. In my opinion. Ethan Sampson with this intern triple attempt. This could be an end flipper right here, though. That's for sure. Let's see where these rocks end up. Just going backwards a little bit too. Trying to get it to curl. Hard. 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 Hard on the six, Kevin. Go, 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 go. Jam, but ends Whoa, up sitting shot rock. Uh, hit it a little bit thinner than would have liked. Yeah. Maybe wouldn't have jammed if it catches a little more of that first stone, but should have a relatively open shot to score. There. Dropkin's going to play the hit and roll, I believe, anyways. Even though this might jam. Still would likely sit two with that rock that's in the side of the eight foot on the opposite side. Yeah, let's want to throw Keel and maybe try to make the roll. I'm okay with that. Just... What roll? Should not see a lot of curl unless you see Corey tighten it up even more to the center of the stone, which I like here. Use your sweepers if you need to. You got a lot of house to roll to. Don't take it out of your sweepers' hands by playing on the the wide side of the stone, especially if you're throwing this type of weight at it. Yeah, it makes the most sense. I mean, especially the way these two sweep. But looks like you made it. It does end up just peeling and rolling off. That may have been the plan all along for Dropkin, as opposed to here, rolling Mark. in. So yet another draw against points for one of the skips. This one against three. Full eight foot will be good enough for Ethan Sampson. Yeah, 14 seven is top four, so. It's becoming quite the theme of the game. Final stone of the first half of this game, draw number three in the men's competition. Ethan Sampson looking for full eight foot or better. I think we're there, Maria. T, T. Sweepers. Oh, sweepers seem pretty confident in this one, just kind of cleaning all the way in. Oh, then. Now getting off of it. Oh, then. Should be okay, I think, in the slide path. Yeah. Just a pair of giving it a little bit of a go, but it will stop one. for one point for Team Sampson, and they will take a 4-3 lead into the break of this draw number three. Let's say you're in high school, and there's a sport you like. But sometimes you think, you know, it might be cool to try a new sport.
Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Back for the start of the sixth end here in this 8 a.m. morning draw. Four-game day in this field, two men's and two women's. Team Sampson leading 4-3 over Team Dropkin. Dropkin will have Hammer in the sixth. Sixth end, a good time to crack open Dr. Pepper's Zero Sugar starting out the second half of this game. Tyler George here with Tony Cott. Tony, we got a little bit of chatter on... YouTube chat. Somebody asking if these Dr. Peppers are a mixture of Corona and Amaretto. It is not. This is a straight up Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. Nothing else in it. And somebody else followed that up with a captain in this thing. And once again, no, this is only all natural Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. I don't know why you would taint something with just so pure as Dr. Pepper Sugar Free with, I wouldn't dare. you know, would not dare. Yes, it, it, it is. Uh, you can curl it if you gotta go curl it. There I'd are say. 23 flavors in these Dr. Peppers, so everybody knows it's very important. Mine's close. Even in the zero sugar. I mean, curl, those guys curl, at Dr. Curl, Pepper, curl. I tell you what, they're just. So if I don't have a sponsorship from these guys by the end of the week, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know if you ever watched the old uh, Mike and the Mad Dog show or listened yeah, like to it on New York radio. Mike Francesa would have about yep, two. six or seven Diet Cokes. Every single show they did became well-known for that. Maybe I can become known for this Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar thing, but I, I'm really only having one, one or two and half, stretching them out. Right the day. Now. The I don't have Mike State with yeah, those yeah, Diet yeah. Cokes. Go. That joke's probably only for go. about five or six Wider people that actually know what that show is, but I don't care. That's what we talk about for I'm the morning better. draws. So back Wait to the good. action. <laughs> like another the center, center guard. guard here. This time they went into the house first. Good. We're running into the same thing. But only Bad. the top 12 foot. But it's here. 
we can drop her a shot. Try to figure out if that's pretty good. Freezing to that rock in the top of the 12 foot is worth doing, and opting to draw underneath okay. the corner really guard instead, which I believe is the correct play. Up, Line's top good. eight. Line's good. Yeah, top eight, top four. You got room. It's Cooch's rock. A ton of room. Start really of the sixth girl. end. Tony, we always have to mention that go, it's faster after the break. Get it buried. Our Cooch, go. John Landsteiner. Just had to discuss that. Oh, go, 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 that go, go, go. Game again. Get it buried, get it buried, get it buried. So that rock gliding into the top of the 12 foot. No real surprise. Good control on the weight, though. Tom Howell knows boys. how to manage that change in speed. Scott Dunham now with a 5 2 lead over Jason Smith. On sheet D after a two in the fourth really and a steal of one yeah, in the fifth. Light. Line's okay. Did have another I think it's close. over there. And Smitty's a professional. Oh, running. All yep. those. Line's good. Oh. One comment from you Line's good. Dr. Pepper Latte. Close. I, I do have coffee next to my Dr. Great. Pepper Zero Up. Sugar. We're going full bore octane on this one. Score updates. Sheet A, John Schuster in total control with a 10-2 lead over Daryl Sobering. Sheet C, Rich Ruin in leading 5-4 on Danny Casper. Danny with a two in the third, a force in the fourth, and two in the fifth. So you do your curling math, keep trading twos for ones. Eventually, they can catch up. So a good rally there from Team Casper. And again, yep. D, as we mentioned, yes. Scott Dunham oh. now leading 5-2 yes. over whoa, Jason. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chance to be all alone at the top of the field at 3-0 with a win over there. Probably. Well, I go on. I kind of like saying local guy Lance Wheeler. Lance Wheeler. Right? Dropkin does not clip that stone. Yeah. Top eight. Tony Sarr, Top what were you saying there? Okay. I was saying local guy Lance Wheeler over there on Team Dunham. Denver Curling Club in the house. Fan favorite. It's too bad he's not a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> Such a, so hard to like a guy like that outside of the hometown crowd. Obviously kidding. Lance is one of the nicest guys in the curling world. And that's a big tall ad. task like with so really many. Big ad. Wonderful people in this sport. You gotta curl a mile. Just, just whoa, carve man. it. Just carve it. Let it come down. Line's getting better. Line. Whoa, whoa let it sit. Really whoa, curling. Let it sit. Team Sampson. Just let it sit. Pass the pedal the metal a little bit now and come around draw on that center guard and very well placed right to the top of the forefoot. Let's show a little yeah. bit on the opposite side, but this. I think that's lined up just just fine. I don't know if you would really want to place it any better. Yeah, they would have liked that to curl a little bit less. So it was it would what it would do what we would call a Christmas tree, where it kind of staggers those rocks and you can only see a little piece of both. There is enough for Mark Fanner to come around whoa, with whoa, 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 whoa. weight somewhere in there and curl, try to play this. Curl. Soft weight hit and roll underneath the corner. Gotta go. Tom Howell trying to get this to curl a little bit to stick around. We'll just yeah, move that stone yeah, off the fours. Team Sampson still sitting two. Got Put it back. Eight. Which will allow them to continue to play aggressively and draw underneath the center guard. It's Kevin, it's fast here. Like 15 we'll see five. if they try to have this not come out quite that far over curling this time. Kevin Tuma with the intern draw. We're there. Where? Close line. Top eight, top nope. Keepers seem to think Only line. That they thought it was there, but now... Never need weight. We're heavy. Oh. Getting on this back one. Four. I think back the four, wave's all eight. there, but they're trying to make sure it's by back the eight. line. We're going to hit it high. Yep. Looks to be almost back house weight, I think, right now. Staying high. Yep. Really heavy. Oh. Oh. We'll bounce that and roll open. Or bounce that to the open, but stays under the corner guard or center guard. So not a bad result. That's the importance of keeping that stone underneath the center guard. That's I don't like what's looking. Now there isn't a hit and roll on the opposite mind side. Playing something soft, the it just seems really hard. As right those now. red stones start piling up for Team Dropkin. 
It's where they try to figure out a way to make all those count and put up a big end. Keep the shooter and lose the yellow. If we lose two, it's great. Like this. Yeah. Go for the hit now. The issue is, is like we stick it under there. And... Looks like it, huh? Gonna try to get as much of this yep. yellow as they can see. Try to move all three and push that stone in the eight foot out of the eights and try to make those other two count eventually. It's good. It's more ice than we've seen them take with the broom. Yeah. Just a little on the wide side again. Mark Fenner trying to get it to curl. He's gonna get a little piece of it. Core. That's sneaky guy. Moves one out and actually looks like they are sitting second here. and third now, so not a bad result. If that curls just another hey. half an inch, they're probably sitting second, third, and fourth. fourth. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I like that, Kevin. But I, I think just, they'll take that one. Here. And Sampson now throwing yet another draw around the center. Staying aggressive. Probably trying to play it right to the top of the fours. We're better. Where? Top four. Line looks top a little four. tighter on this one to me. Yep. Yep. Top four. Yep. Top four. Top four. This is really we gotta go curl now. Wait, it's good. I want to wreck the guard. Oh. Yeah, and that will do just that. I think the weight was probably pretty close, but the best spot to roll this one? you could kind of tell, Tony, on that release, it was a little softer from Kevin Tuma and was on a tighter line, but they really didn't get on the sweep right away. Yeah, which was shotgun. Well, and that just goes to show you, right? The weight was probably pretty good, and just it was all the line. Now we got handshakes on sheet A. We do have a final on sheet A. John Schuster with the win over Daryl Sobering. Not see what the well, they're just hanging the final now. Sobering takes one in the sixth and handshakes like that, after that. Pretty. So 10 3 final. Team Schuster over Team Sobering. John and his squad go to 2 and 1 on the week. And his kids in the crowd making sure everyone knows it. <laughs> John's yeah, kids. Luke, Luke and Logan are Down. very Hair vocal. Light. Hair light. I like to think we're all a product of our environment. Yeah, <laughs> not a very vocal guy, <laughs> but uh, we love those guys. You know, great cheerleaders for the team over the years. I I do not like looking over and seeing how tall they are now. Keep yeah, that's posts about uh, their success in swim meets as of late too. So fun to, to watch those little guys grow up after you know playing with John and being you know so close with the family. And not seeing, the worst. This is you know, hopefully the future of the sport in. In these kids, my sister just had her first. Joe Polo just had his second. Lance Steiner had his first. We're already forming these teams in our minds for the future. And Josh there you go. Gets to coach these teams. Andrew pops them like crazy. Yeah, Ethan's Ethan's intern should curl a little. So now a little bit of danger yeah, like for like 12, Team five. Sampson with Dropkin sitting three. Need to yeah, I like this get bird. this inside roll and try to bury if possible. But if it does hang, rolling in front of Dropkin's yeah, number two counter would also be a good option. But yeah, very important not to leave this one wide open. So Ethan Sampson, soft weight intern hit. Looking to roll in. We're big. 12. Twelve, four, four. It's a little heavy. Marius Kleinus trying to get this five. over. Go the other way. Plan B. It's going to end up right on the nose, and exactly what they were yeah. not looking for. Roll it like a half rock. There's even a little bit of space now, Tony, for a just gets roll hairy inside here. for Dropkin. They have to throw it a little harder in order to do it, but they could get a little. Roll half berry yeah. and make that hit like roll possible for for Team Sampson. So Dropkin looking to hit maybe 
four fifths and three quarters. Yep. Get that little inside roll. What's your preferred time right here? You like a 10? I, like I think this should be right around a 10, yeah. Yeah. Maybe a 10 5. Anything less than that, and you'd probably have heavy, to jam heavy, in close, order to make close, the roll. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Sure. Close. Heavy. Yep. Whoa. Clean. Curl. Hard curl. Now trying to get this to curl. It's not bad. Actually. Ends up on the nose. Okay. So there will be a roll attempt. Good roll. I think it's the Possible same thing for get. Samson. May not be Wait, shot rock to get that roll on the But if they do roll, good chance right they there. clip the number two counter as well. So that would be the ideal situation. Get the roll, move that number two. Sit shot rock under cover and try would to be get out of this yeah. danger zone. Same way. Ethan Sampson's final stone of the sixth. Very important shot. Trying to avoid a big end for Team Dropkin. Same way, Paramore. Curl. Once again, Sweeper up. early on trying to get this to curl. All right, curl. Be very close. Made an over curl, oh, my actually. Jam. It does jam and rolls <laughs> I open. Think that's okay. Rut row. Yeah. This will be a yep. like that. touchy shot for Dropkin, trying to poke Probably this no yellow one on between end, those two reds in the back. Yeah, I believe this is a shot for three. But once again, that, uh, that carved sweep got the rock to curl a little more than they expected. Okay. Instead of making that little short double and roll, jams rolls open, and it's a... A shot for three really instead of a difficult shot really for sweet, two. So. so last stone for Dropkin, looking to hit. Straight nose, I would imagine. Two-thirds to three-quarters yeah. on the high side should be good. Oh, yeah. There is a jam behind that stone if they hit on the nose. Four-fifths, three-quarters is probably Whoa. just about right. It's a little bit of a turn. Fenner trying to hold it. Yeah. Oh, that really snapped on him. They weren't expecting it sure that. Did. Does end up still being one. just one. Missed opportunity for Dropkin. I think uh, surprised by that amount of curl late in that shot. So, guess that's why you did not want it square on the nose. That's, that would be why right there. Yes. So. So Dropkin takes one, and we are tied 4-4 after six. Just because you're not a professional athlete doesn't mean that you should accept less. The beauty about what Thorne does is our product quality is the same whether they're in the athletic line or whether they're just for the everyday person. Thorne has kept true to never compromising on quality, never compromising on efficacy, never compromising on safety for not only athletes but for everyone who would use their products. Seventh end in draw number three of the 2023 Men's USA Curling National Championships. Team Sampson dodging Shocker. a bullet in 
The six then. I don't think it's coming down yet. Only giving up a point. Team Dropkin had a hit for three, but ends up jamming and only taking the single. So 4-4, four, four, playing the seventh. Have a center line six, guard. Hammer, and we do see another center line guard. And that's kind of an automatic call for Dropkin here in the seventh. Once you get to these final four ends, now you're starting to play even end hammer a little bit. So Dropkin would love to see okay. a force. Well or a steal in this end. Samson would love really to see a blank or two or more points. Wait, stop it. They are gonna still go around the center and take that position. Wait, it's there. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna touch on a subject that, I don't wanna stay on too long with uh, YouTube chat with directional sweeping and asking about the pressure, the length, the frequency of the, the sweep the angle and all these things. So, so here's what I'm going to tell you. What we've seen for directional sweeping has changed yep, so many yep. times over the last few years. Uh, the different methods, okay, whatever, okay. from in my oh, opinion, oh, oh. sweeping on the path that the stone is going towards has the most impact. You want as much pressure as possible on that forward push with the sweep. And now in the last two years, you've seen starting with some European teams and now seeing it over here in the U.S. Right? The, the boom being turned at an angle so that yes. it's kind of in a straight line going on that path where you're trying to get the rock to go to. So again, that forward push is the most important one with that type of sweeping and going along that rock's path. But it's going to change again soon. It's, there's there's new methods and new things that teams so, are finding uh, and, and 10 different ways that you see even in any given tournament that teams think are most wow. effective. So it, it's a preference thing for a lot of it. There is no specific scientific Coming way down nice. to Gotta get go now. the maximum go. amount of curl, impact. Curl, curl, curl. And it's great. with each ice Let's surface, the amount that you can get a rock to curl changes too. Hey, hey, I think hey. you've seen directional sweeping be pretty effective Hack. on this surface as opposed to what you'd see in normal tour events. Forward. Yep. But again, this, I, I don't want to say that there's a letter of the law on these things because there's so many different methods that you use for directional sweeping. So so we'll put a pin in that and leave that be for the time being. So many theories out there that everyone can Close. make up their own. <laughs> yeah, a lot I'm of different things you use. That. Yep. Yep. That's yep. all I got. <laughs> Oh, that's a good little intern I think hit we... there from Mark Fenner, losing one of those two Samson stones. Yeah, overall. Samson still underneath the center guard, two thirds buried with top I eight foot being a good position this for bad. this end. And I like hitting this outside stone. Even a nose hit is not a bad play. Shouldn't be a, a double accessible. Coleman Thurston with hit and stick attempt. It does curl. Yes. They can play the long roll. Oh, yes! Oh! They will Try and do that. Well, if it sits in the back around. of the eight foot on the opposite side, that's, that's a very, good. really great. Actually, would have taken that a little farther if we could, but good result. Same weight, ten five, or do you like board? I, I like board. <laughs> Fetter playing the out turn hit. This rock in the back of the eight foot. Clean, clean. Close. Trying to easy, easy. Close. Yep, roll close. underneath to back fours. Oh. Yep. Get yep. shot rock. Yes. Hard, hard, Corey. Hard, hard. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No roll. Yep, 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 yep. Hits and Shot. rolls perfectly behind the center guard. So, well executed by Fenner and and Team Dropkin. Samson made decide to switch yeah. gears now and peel this, play the end open, avoid the steal opportunity, and also possibly bring a blank back into play. There's a sentence I'm not going to try to say fast three times. 
they do indeed just play the peel. We'll see if Dropkin opts to replace or to hit that stone and sit three. I think at least one more guard is likely, and that's where yeah. they're pointing. Clean so the para looking for mid to mid tight guard. Doesn't need to be anything real tight to the rings. Go ahead. Looks like it needs to do a little bit of curling to get to the center line. It's starting the turnover now. It's that late curl we've been seeing. Here it comes. They're pretty consistent both ways, too. Yep. We are not seeing that straighter side and swingier side that we saw earlier. Samson content to peel once again. May see one more guard from Dropkin having shot rock. We'll see if they elect to do that or to do something in the rings. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. That peel is made and see what decision they make. Now looking to play that hit and sit three. It's either going to be on this shot or the next one. I think they thought if they throw another guard that I think we just take the Samson may come around and try to tap and sit two. Fraction more. So out turn hit, roll to the wing attempt now for Stepera. Just want to make sure this doesn't get the nose, but this rock is curling pretty early too. Need to sweep to hold and not jam. Oh. Does indeed jam and double off the back two reds. The one sticks in the house. It's very important for the the blank opportunity for Samson. But now with number one counter, they'll yeah. go see for if dude. they can manufacture it too. I think we're all right. I see a little more weight from Tuma than you saw on Stepera's throw. So that one actually curled with that softer weight. Try to avoid that same jam that Andrew had. Hair down! To his throw on the way. And with his... Set it back a little bit again. Yep. It's all right, though. Sit. Needs to sit to be count. Spin, maybe. Spin. Does spin. Not sure if it spun back enough to be second. I think Dropkin believes that he's second count. Yeah. Kind of wait. Board. Yeah. Okay. So Dropkin will play the intern hit. Try to roll out to the wing side. Dropkins first here in this seventh end, yep. looking to hit, avoid the backing and possibly roll out towards oh. the wing. Holding oh. the line pretty well. Whoa. Good. That one actually rolling Whoa. all the way out to the wing, and there is a double <laughs> opportunity to sit to. I think Coleman sharing everyone else's thoughts on that. <laughs> if you're playing in the game, well, if sitting one, two, and way back in the house, 
Well, the best teams get those breaks, though. You know, the inches go the way of the teams that work the hardest, I believe. Yeah. I'm just saying My to that effect. Over here. I, so. so either hit and roll or double opportunity for Samson to try to sit two. Okay. At the very least, yeah, trying to yeah. roll in that direction. Mine but pretty even late. if they can yeah. just touch that back red stone off of this yep. roll, they will sit two. Not sure if this will curl on this line. They're taking Broom off the edge of the stone. We'll see if they can get this rock to take a little bit of a turn to get that roll. Ten. Samson's first here in seven. And five. Yep. 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 To throw it a little Hard. bit to the inside of the stick. It is taking a little turn. Can they hold it to get the double? To make oh, what the? That just didn't look like you got out to that stick at all. What happened? So the force opportunity definitely on now for Team Dropkin. And Tony, I, I I never like on those shots where you're playing to the, the wing, a rock in the outside of the house, throwing finesse or soft weight when you're trying to roll to a certain spot, especially just because you're not sure on the speed. And the curl may be a little bit different than it is on the rest of the sheet, so maybe when, throwing a little harder and taking the ice out of it. You also got a little bit more house to cover, right, when it's in the back of the house like that? You know, just like a little bit more extra room. Sometimes Mine's you forget good. to take those extra two, three inches. Right here. So it's Corey Dropkin is content to get a third counter running, in. Running toward, really straight. Towards the side of the eight foot. And Looks hot. I think you just let it... I really like to give... Sampson, a decision whether or not to play the hit and stick or to play the draw. I, I don't think it's made a there difference. There you go. Good. Go wait. Yeah, I like the hit. We'll elect to play the hit. Plenty of house to roll to. Possibly a stopper rock on the outside 12 foot too, but this is out turn. don't think they're planning on using that. <laughs> Just knows here. Control. So final stone of the seventh, and I think in probably four or five ends of this game, as we've seen the, the single points on the board, the opposing skip has been throwing against multiple points to try to get their one. And One more time now for Ethan Sampson. Looking just to make a nose hit, no. secure his point. Curl. Curl. Oof. Trying to get that car over. Hard to stay. Gotta go. Looks all right. Good. Good. Does curl just Wait. enough to okay. stick around the eight foot. Take that point. So after seven ends of play, Samson leading drop can 5-4. draw here at the 2023 men's USA curling national championships which means it's time to tell you that warm room hero is more than just software it's run by curlers dedicated to building long-term relationships with your club warm room hero provides continuous support to ensure your website exceeds your members expectations check out warm room hero today at curling.club 
for special event pricing. Center guard to start this eighth end from Team Sampson. And just the pair immediately putting the broom down for corner guard. Dropkin will be going hard to try to score two. Line's good. Get this lead back. Line's good. It's like Casper's clawed his way back into that game on sheet C. 6-6. Six, six. And the that simple curling math that we talked about. Shot down by four, but scoring twos and giving ones back. Danny Casper has come all the way back and now tied that game at six through seven ends. Looks like the Team Smith fans on Sheet D have brought out all the all the guns with their Tinder profile Three. pictures up there in the stage. Top four. <laughs> Is that what those are? <laughs> yeah. That's, oh, oh my. Yep, Top all four. the Nashville crew ah. coming oh, out with all some that. strong representation. <laughs> So that's all Team Smith's pictures there. Okay, I'm going to have to get a better look at those later. The I'd really like to see if they had the full profile, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to assume that those are doctored, as I know that not every guy on that team is a single man. Mine's good. So I'm not sure on all of their statuses, but I'm... Positive that two of them are married. <laughs> Amen to that. Just line. Back T. Six line. T line. Top four T. Back to the curl. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Dropkin trying to get around the corner guard now and shot. Set up this multiple point end if they can get it. This team Sampson's come around draw went to the back of the eight foot, so not a lot of fear of that stone for. Dropkin side. Sampson now will be coming around again, trying to get one above the tee line. Felt like. Holman Thurston uh, felt with the intern draw. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Felt there, guys. E easy. Mine's okay. Can't be back line here, looks guys. To be pretty close. Sick. Really like this to stop above the tee line, though. Goes to the back of the button. Not an awful result. Line ended up still pretty good. You spread him, it's okay. With that separation Hack. between the guard and the rock on the Fully back. Fully buried. Do you want to just see Stapera put down a room to yeah. try to okay. bump these around a little bit? No line. Mark Fenner. Probably right around a back line weight type of shot, trying to bump this a little bit, but got a curl. Curl, 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 curl. To curl. To make contact with this stone. Now it's starting to turn. Oh way. Keep going. Keep going. Corey dropping, getting that one to move a little bit. And it's a great shot there. Taps almost to a pocket, stays on the, the button. Probably a freeze opportunity for Samson trying to jumble things up in the four foot area. That was scary. We have handshakes on sheet D. Dunham had oh. the uh, two point lead in the hammer. Playing the seventh end, so I assume that ended up being a it's last, guys. You're gonna have big to go. score for that team to, to end the game. I think we'll you're see close. What they hang. Girl. Line's good. Make sure we're there, guys. Gotta be eight foot. Come on, guys, come on. Has to be Make it foot. there, let's go. All the way, all the way, Bias guys, come on. You gotta be to eight this foot. To the house and ends up short again. What was the time there, Ethan? Good sweep. So now a come around draw for yeah. Team Dropkin to try to take control of the four foot. It was a four point end for Team Dunham. Take a 9-3 victory over Team Smith, and now alone at the top of the standings, here are our Tinder <laughs> profile pictures. Just kicked out a lot last, right, Marius? 
With scientists on and off the ice. <laughs> That's something. You gotta love the creativity of curling fans. I think we just follow them, right? Well, I should say that they're now 0-1 record with their Tinder profiles hanging in the stands. Yeah, might have to have a conversation with those T-line guys. Right. Athletes are very superstitious. To get to it. Right. Okay. He goes here and we're kind of screwed. Yeah, I like this. Right, Kevin, Top four. Buries well for team. Dropkin on that come around and did push that number one counter a little bit. So Tuma looking to play the freeze. I don't think we've thrown anything out here. I think we're a little down. Top eight. Should be plenty of line on that release. Starting Girl. to turn a hair. A mile. Back four. Looked like a lot of room to start with, and then yeah. a little outward release and down, a little bit of extra curl, weight. Curl, curl, curl. Right. I don't even care if you're back. Keep going. Yeah, just keep going. Weight actually ended up just about perfect, but well, well, definitely a little on the wide back. side. And yeah. a lot of room in the first here? place too, so What's pretty close to hack. I like that. that rock set up. You can get a little bump and roll inside like for ice. team. Drop. Andrew Stapera throwing hack. his first of this end and things starting to get a little dicey for Team Sampson. You can like, get under though. Even like less weight to like keep it back there. Is that better? I don't know. I wouldn't mind talking about it, but... See Andrew Stapera looking up at the main screen. Joel, I think he might want you to change it so he can see the opposite end. <laughs> now it's going down. Take a look. I actually had that happen in the World Championships in 2016 where the main feed was up on the Jumbotron and I was looking at it and they switched it to my face. And I told him I was trying to take a look at the angles. They heard me on the mic and they... They switched it back. I don't think oh, there's yeah. anything wrong keeping it that in the split screen between my own face and the game afterwards. It's good, so, I think. Okay, well now both. Thanks, I appreciate that. So. Fine. There you go, Andrew. <laughs> Another look for you. Just give us a little point, then we know, and we can switch it up for you. Yeah. Close. Back line. Back line. Oh, back twelve. Back twelve. Taking an aggressive line at this shot. Back line. They really want to make sure that they get inside. There it goes. Hard, buddy. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh wow! Feathers that go. Wow. Oh, Great that's shot. Really good. Pretty good. That's as good as we could have done. Just about. Well called by Corey Drop and well thrown by Andrew Stapera. Now three rocks bundled up all around the button. Yeah, you want to cross it. It's perfect. Perfect world. You're probably hitting it like this. Yeah, true. I think that's your perfect world. I mean, do you ever try to play something soft and try to get to that? What? Because I don't see. Like, I don't this think is you really see hard. enough of it to really play it. You only got half of. I yeah. maybe make it with like back line, That's what I was thinking. That uh, you have to move something here. Obviously, you take I mean, more than not, one stone. Not necessarily. To do what they I mean, want to do here. Three. Right, you got to move it to like back four. Yeah. We have three shots left. I'm thinking firm with it. Yeah. We're gonna take a timeout now and I'm just talk guys. A if we make this, it's wide open. Mike Moore. Still getting three. Right, like this is jamming all day. We need to create a pocket somehow. Listen into this conversation and see what they're thinking. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You never like back line on this even? I think you can absolutely make it around that though. Uh, you can feel back eight at it. Yeah. Yeah, you can do this. Definitely can. You can get it to here. So is this, Kevin. That's to give up three, honestly. Well, if we if we get rid of it, we at least have the run on the next. 
I don't know if we can. Yeah. I don't know if you can get there with back line. You can for sure get there with back eight. I'm just a little worried about. Yeah, I'm worried about where we leave it. Yeah. No, I, I, you have to get almost to the. Yeah. You're like getting mid the best. That's helpful if you can do that. Yeah. If you think that's a little fast, then we gotta play some other game. I have to get pretty tight to the guard to get it. I think. Like if we get rid of this, we have a run on our nets. It's not. Like it's not good, but. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're just still firm at it because I think you're trying to stick the other one straight back. Yeah. Okay. What's your preference here, Tyler? I, I kind of like the downweight myself, yeah. like, like the back firm. line cap, make yeah. those rocks yeah, move sure. a little bit, okay. and then come back at it with the next one. Yeah, after that nice break and good opportunity like, for a like sip of Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar. Yeah. You heard the the conversation was about oh, yeah. the weight they want to play to try to move a couple of these stones around. They feel like they have to throw what? firm probably to, yeah, about that. to get both of firm. those red stones Hitting moving about out of the fours. So a double raise. See if they can get at least two of these red stones out of the forefoot. Very difficult shot for Tuma. This is his second stone of Firm. this eighth end. Yep, yep. yes, hard, Marcus. Hard, yep. you gotta keep it on the high side. Hard, hard, hard. you got it. Hard, really hard. hard. Yep. you got it, you got yep. it, you got yep. it. Yep. Beauty, well, Kevin. Well, it's better than it was. Good. Opens Come it up and Moves one stone out of four foot, and the angle's actually much better. So that's a pretty good result for Team Sampson, despite the fact that drop is still sitting two. Now another discussion from Stapera and Dropkin. No kidding. See, it was on the net. It's a lot better. That's a great throw. Really good. Fairly quick decision, I think. Yep. Yeah, they've taken a lot of time earlier in the game, so I think they're conscious of their clock situation. I haven't seen the, the clock as of late, but my guess is that they're trying to bank a little time for the last two ends. But obviously, a key situation here, they want to take their time, but be an out turn hit. Try to roll away from. To Para. Dandy. That rolls to a pocket. Not sure how many of those Samson can get to go, but thinks maybe with Peel he can get all three. Possibly four, says our colleague in the booth here, John Benton. You are going to see some granite moving around on this one. Whatever Ethan Sampson has in the tank, he's going to throw it. You see the clocks now. Dropkin indeed at seven minutes, a little over seven. It's not dire straits, but three and a half minute pace per end. A little more time for Team Sampson. There are two more rocks for Team Drop in this end, too, so probably be around six minutes somewhere in there unless they take some more time for what they choose to play. This will be the high-hard one from Ethan Sampson. See if he can get all these reds going. Dropkin sitting four. I don't believe that'll be the case after this throw. Help. Set that one back on that line. They have to play off of the other yeah, way. Yeah, it's the other way, huh? Go, go, go. Okay. And they get two. Not a good throw there from, from Ethan Sampson. I'm sure he'd be the first to say it, but really popped that thing hard out of his hand and a bit of a missed opportunity to maybe get out of this end. But if you're here, it's, you always have a drop or two. So often you get excited about throwing that big weight and 
that pitch back to the wide side tends to be that miss. I don't know. It's I'm fine with this too. Whatever you see, I'm okay playing this. Yeah. Drop can look and draw under the corner guard, the higher yellow guard, probably the top of the eight foot. Very good chance for a three-point end here for Dropkin, as if this rock is buried under the guard, there won't be a possible double. Dropkin's first here in eight. Like top eight, bite the four. Looks like top eight, top, top, top four. The most important thing besides being a counter for Team Dropkin here is that this rock bears. Back four, I really don't want to leave a double opportunity. No, 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 let stop, if this let goes stop. deep, they may leave one regardless. <laughs> Starting to hit the brakes. It does stop buried, but with the depth of that stone, there is a freeze opportunity for Samson. And, and Tony, I think you almost have to play it because you give up three, and there is really no double. If you give up three, you're down by two with two ends to play. Your percentages of winning the game are not high. So, Sorry, despite the fact that they have the lead, I think the freeze is the shot. And especially with this being the eighth end, uh, controlling that even end hammer when it's this late in the game is big is clutch. Also important to remember with this shot that they don't have to make the freeze perfectly for it to be a, a good result. As long as it's angled correctly and out counting I like this. the numbers two and three counters, they're in good shape. But... They're able to weld this right to that rock. Not sure Dropkin will have much of a way to get it out. If they do end up short of that stone, there's a little separation. I would bet you'd see Dropkin play that angle run back on the corner guard to try to score the big end anyways. So a pressure cooker now for Ethan Sampson. Playing a freeze against a possible three or four point end. Can bail his team out with a make. I think we're really close. Sophomore. 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 Taking a little bit of a we're curl there, early. I think. I think the line should we're be close. close. Hold there. We can this wait. We'll finish. Off. We're going to go a little now. Yep, yep, yes. It's gone all the way. It needs to be right on Twelve. that stone on this line for it to be good. Really That's good. an Banger. excellent shot from Ethan Sampson. Maybe a game saver. Drop can eyeball in this to see if he can hit enough of it to lose that stone, even though they lose their own. Have? I think what he may end up playing is that angle run that we talked about. What a wonderful shot by Ethan Sampson, though. Great read by the sweepers as well. I'd be awfully surprised, Tony, if, if Corey doesn't play this angle run. He... He's trying to figure out how he can just play the intern, get close to the guard, and get that rock moving. And there is a draw for one to tie the game. It's definitely an option too. I, you like the you like the angle run? I kind of. I don't know if I like it. I just really thought Corey would oh, yeah. play it. <laughs> okay. But he thinks he can get enough of this yellow one to spin it off and get it moving out of the eight foot, which. Could possibly be a score of three if his shooter stays two. But we'll find out. Dropkin is going to have a go at this. He, he does love playing up weight in turn shots. Going to have to get as close as he can to that guard. The final stone of this eighth end. If this is made, we will see one of those fist pumps. Close. Yep. Hard. Real close Hard. to the guard. Oh, just clips it. And after all that, it is a steal of one for Team Sampson. That gutsy freeze by the young Skip. Mm. And now takes a 6-4 lead to the ninth end of this game.
Twin Cities Orthopedics is ready to go with more doctors, specialty services, and convenient urgent care locations. Ready, set, TCO. Beginning of the ninth end. That's a magic act that Team Sampson just pulled to We're down. avoid the big end from Team Dropkin. Once again, that great freeze by Ethan Sampson. Great sweep. Place that rock where they did. Now leading 6 4. Start of the ninth end, Tyler George. Tony Cott. We do have a few questions, comments again from. YouTube viewers. The one I really wanted to touch on because I have a definitive answer for this question is one rule that I would add to the sport. And uh, I know my former teammate, John Schuster, would have uh, done everything he could to, to not have this one implemented. But I'd like to see stopwatches outlawed. You can't use them during the games at all. So teams have to go more on field. You could use clocks in practice to get used to times. But couldn't use them actually during the game. To clock That's an interesting one. More on your actual feel and your read than a time. I very rarely go by times myself anyways, but I think it would just reward teams that really focus in on uh, getting similar weights uh, in practice and things like that. Yes, they pounded it. Yeah. Thoughts on tick shot as well? I. I, I've never played with Tick Shot because I retired before it was implemented, but uh, I can tell you that the players are very happy with uh, the implementation of the rule for the most part. There is a lot of negativity with it. There are players that are indifferent to it and players that are top four. Uh, are happy Back about four. the rule change, but not too many that dislike it. We were getting by it, so. Right. No. We do have Dropkin with number one counter in the fours. You see that pace whoa, picking up. Whoa, whoa. Curl, 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 with curl. The clock being a little bit short on time. Hard, Corey, get the nose. Don't worry, John Schuster. Hard, we, Corey. We're keeping the clocks. Hard. <laughs> yeah. Hard. Okay. Great Yeah, the, just the feedback that you get from those stopwatches and everything like that, I think that'd be, oh. that just changed the game completely. Going under the guard. Yeah, yeah and it, Sorry, it's, it's not that teams and players are relying on them too much. It's, it'd just be interesting to see you know, how that would change the in-game operations for teams if they if they can't look to that clock immediately. And I, I think I'm probably in the minority on that too, that most players like having Girl. clocks involved. Oh, Girl. Trying to get this to turn over and stick around. We'll stay Up in the eight foot. And Samson yep. has no trouble yep. trading hits and playing to give Team Dropkin two in this end, taking hammer to the last. A force would be a good situation for Samson. Whoa. The steal Whoa. obviously would be good as Clean. well. Close. Dropkin. Close. Content Close. to trade yep. hits right Whoa. now Whoa. and sit yep. two. Yep. Hard. A little surprised yep. they're not. Hard. Playing a, didn't play another corner guard earlier in the end and try to mix the action up, but also could be playing for a possible a blank right? with these trades, and I think that's what's in Andrew Stapera's mind, Corey Dropkin's mind too, is eventually maybe trying to set up the blank end, take hammer to the 10th, down by two. Teams using that 
strategy a lot with the five rock rule, thinking that three point ends are more likely to happen than steals, even with the no tick zone rule. Hard, Colonel. Hard, hard, roll it. Get a little bit of a half roll. Hack. So half of that yellow stone still open. Immediate hit again from Team Dropkin. Just a pair of broom down. Good way to clock some time for that 10th end with clean. Dropkin clean. being Just a little clean. short Easy. on time. Tom, close. Clean, clean. Out turn. Yep. Yep. Soft Whoa. weight pass. Curl, curl. Dropkin trying to hold line and Howell now turning it over. I think we just make Inside it. Kevin. Four foot drop and still just sitting two. As we mentioned earlier, uh, John <laughs> Schuster and Scott Dunham picking up go, Kevin. comfortable victories. The morning draw. Rich Ruinen now with an 8 6 lead on Danny Casper after taking two in the eighth. Casper after that back, trailing by two again. Yeah, it's been back and forth all day. I can report that the Tinder profile pictures have traveled over towards the uh, the booth. We're gonna get a better <laughs> look at uh -oh. these things now. Now, is, is that actually Smitty's face on there? Is that superimposed? Okay. Yeah, that, that looks like Smitty's physique. That's him. Jared, 40 years old, known for his love of unconventional no sports like hunting, curling, and football. That's definitely <laughs> his head on top of three bear skins. 126 curling enthusiast, vegan during curling season, injury prone, and animal lover, wearing a neck brace in his <laughs> profile. Dominic, 10, 32, five. Swiss scientist, on and off the ice, great with a this stopwatch. Really That's go. definitely true. Wait, it's good. Watch and stopwatch. And of course, Jason Smith, VR golf enthusiast, Nashville's yeah. bestest curler, great, great for a hammering good time. That is really <laughs> something. Well done, guys. That's fantastic. <laughs> I might have to swipe left on those, though, I gotta be honest. <laughs> Bunch of looks cute with that baby pig, though. Let's see if we actually watch a little curling again now. With this blank Here end comes coming it. up, it's a uh, good time to talk about fake Tinder profiles. And All right, take your time here, Ethan. Yeah, we got time. The fun yeah. stuff that these fans bring into the arena, too. We've, we've seen some, some good ones from Steve Berklet over okay. the years. and. We, we have an eccentric crew in the curling world. We're very proud of that. <laughs> you can see the clocks in the background. Dropkin with that pace picked up. Still with 4 minutes, 15 seconds left. So shouldn't have Should much trouble five. with yeah. yep. playing out the 10th yep. then. The out turn pass again from sweet, Ethan Sampson. That... <laughs> Do you think that this was a pre-end strategy for the blank, or do you think it was more just based on what happened at the shots? It's it's definitely a strategy for Team Dropkin to either get zero or two plus, and they'd prefer the zero. So once it looked like they were going to be able to trade hits and, and possibly set up the blank, that was a preferable situation for them to score two. They, they feel like they have a better chance of getting three for the win or getting two and a steal of one as opposed to trying to just steal one in 10 if they if they manage to get there too. And if they, they're playing to score two or more, there's no guarantee that they get that anyways. And if you get forced to one, now you're in your worst case scenario. Stop that. Uh, so the draw to the wing for Ethan Sampson. We'll leave a blank attempt for Dropkin. This has got a little speed on it. I think it should still stop in the okay. house. Good. 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 We'll give a very short roll out I for move a touch out here. 
Dropped it to maintain this yeah. blank and carry hammer to 10. So final shot of this lightning paced ninth end. Yep. 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 Clean. Corey yep. Dropkin yep. on yep. the way. Clean. Only makes the whole end Clean. worth it if you make the blank attempt. And Corey makes no mistake and is blanked. And Dropkin will carry the hammer to the 10th, looking to find a three point end to. Sneak out a late win. Ethan Sampson leads Corey Dropkin 6-4 after nine. The everyday person may not aspire to be a professional athlete or an Olympic athlete. You may just want to be the best person you can be. You just may want to sleep better. You may want to feel better. Thorn has many products that can support all of those things. So it's not just about performing or running faster or jumping higher. It's those little things that go into having a higher quality of life. Tenth end, this morning draw. Ethan Sampson, Corey Dropkin after a blank in the ninth. Sampson leads 6-4, Dropkin with hammer. Needs to get at least a two to keep this game alive. Would love to find a three and avoid that extra end without hammer. Tyler George here with Tony Cotton. Tony, now that we're able to focus our energy back on the curling game itself after going through these handsome men's <laughs> Tinder profiles that were brought to the arena. For those that just tuned in, that's Team Smith and these uh, makeshift uh, poster boards with fake Tinder profiles. We're not actually scrolling during these games. See that draw to the back of the 12 foot for Samson starting off this 10th end, not an ideal position. And a corner guard being thrown now by Tom Hull. And that stone in the back of the 12s, if anything, can only help Dropkin for a possible jam or a freeze. I thought it was the guard. Samson thinking that because of that rock. I think you got to do that, right? Back yeah. of the 12s, that they'll throw a guard on the second lead stone. Yeah, three. Marius Kleinus looking to a little better stone than he did on his first. All right, R really don't want that. <laughs> Same thing we were all thinking. Pretty close. Two and a half, three. Looking to get a mid-type guard on the center line. I think we're fine, Kevin. Should stop short of the paint, just inside right. the logo. Really good. Yeah, that's good. Just a pair of draw the wing. for the guard on the opposite side for corner. Mine's good. You have this even up with first guard he threw on the Corey intern close. side. If your team dropkin right now, you're you're happy with the start of this end. You don't have a rock in the four foot that you have to contend with. It's just one center guard. I think it's going this way, that pass really I agree, it looks easier. Well aware that okay, Samson will play the draw around on this shot, but not a lot of stones they need to move in order to open up the center and try to make these corner guards useful. We haven't seen corners used very much in this game solely because especially on Team Sampson's side of things. They've really tried to congest the center of the sheet and pull the game to the middle. Stay close. And with the 6-4 lead, yep. hard straight. obviously they hard didn't straight. that very well. Hard. 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 I think a lot Run of your good. arena Run curlers good. that are watching Whoa. would probably agree with this strategy. Sit. <laughs> Keep it to the middle. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Beauty. And that really real stop good. on the button. Well thrown, completely buried. Stapera calling for the freeze. Danny Casper gets his two back in the ninth end. So 
So 8-8 eight, eight coming home. Line's oh. good. With a room. Casper ruins game. Careful early. Ruin will have hammer. Careful for room. Line's good. Line's good. good. Score two, four yep. times. Line's good. For six and span. Line's good. You probably feel like you got a Curl. pretty good chance of, or seven and span, excuse me. You feel like you got a pretty good chance of winning a game usually, go but go, go, that go, go, four go, go, point go. deficit that they had to make up okay. after that steal of three in the second end for Ruin and long First road back. Yeah, most okay. definitely not an ideal start, but good Mine's job on those okay. boys clawing back into it. Okay. Nice okay. come around draw there by yep. Mark Fenner. Good position for Team Dropkin. Oh, it's got a curl. Whole line. Thurston trying guys, to follow that. What? Right. Freeze. Hard guys, come on. Fenner's stone in the top Hard. of the eight foot. Well then, well, you're on the guard. Over curling though, and short besides. That's just really light. Getting closer to a situation now where you're guarding for your life with that one stone <laughs> on the button. Or you can go here, but that's the. Stapera calling for the freeze on the rock in the back of the 12 foot. Now you may be wondering why they're not throwing another rock to the eight foot or the fours. I think the rationale for team Dropkin is that they do have angle run that they could play. Line's good, careful early. We got room, we got room, we got room. To clear Easy, that yellow easy. stone oh, on the oh, oh. And if they can get to a situation oh. where that shot would be for three oh, as opposed room. to two. Mine's getting better. They're willing to leave that. If you, any chance they have to score better. three this end, they'll on. play a low percentage it's, shot it's curl, it's curl, it's curl. for that opportunity Great because job. they feel like that's a better percentage than trying to steal in the extra end. So well placed. They are sitting third. Just going to be looking Back to eight. have an opportunity for a shot for and three somewhere. And that's why Ethan Sampson is going to play the freeze on that stone as well because they don't want to leave any opportunity for three. So if, what if, what's thought I don't mind this freeze. They have already that's used true. their timeout. You're, right. You're right. I like this, Kevin. Good call. Yep. And that is your number one objective in this end if your team, Sampson, is avoiding any shot for three on Corey Dropkin's last. I agree. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. I think we're okay. Back 12. Back 12. We're heavy. Oh. This needs to come down to hit the brakes. Hard. 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 Touches the up. corner guard and ends up rolling in for freeze. And big break there for Team Sampson. That, that ended up where it did. And now Negative. Dropkin will be forced to play the double peel. Yeah. If this is made and opens it up, because that back rock is frozen on that yellow and these the two just, yellows just high yeah. around the forefoot are staggered the way they are, three-point end could come back into play. Back still not a bad position for Team Dropkin. <laughs> Again, a bit of a break for Samson, but the angle is still playing into close, 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 Dropkin's close. favor. Close. Yep. That's a really good shot there. That's by really nice. Andrew Stepera. They did That's end up here, Kevin, right? taking That's away true. that angle run that they were hoping to have earlier because of the way those rocks are staggered. I think all are really good. The back one always stops. They still got the other one, though, right? I think it's the guard. Kate. Guarding this. Right. Kate. This will be a replaced guard. Two, Kevin. Kevin Tuma playing the out turn. Most important rock to guard. One, we're really light. Guarding your we gotta go hard. Yellow. More important than the red. Curl now. Nee, Curl. Nee, 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 nee. We're over. We're good. But... Keep going. Yep. Help him out. Yep. Keep going. Hard. Hard. Gotta go. Oh. We had to ever make this. I 
like that. We can call timeout too. Dropkin will take a little extra time to talk about this one now. They do have their timeout remaining. Call timeout or we call a shot. Okay with timeout. Like timeout. Yeah. Timeout. It's crucial time, it yeah. I was just gonna say, here it comes. Nice short walk for Mark Lazar. Probably Leisurely just stroll. Into the yellow, yeah. Most definitely. He was probably already chirping, take the time out, you know what? <laughs> Anytime you get Mark involved, it's great. He's very happy that he only had to take about 20 steps to get to where he's at. <laughs> it's, it's very tough. This is the side that we get curl on. See if we can hear a little bit of the conversation. It's overburied by a half inch. No, I, I know. I, I know what you're saying. I just. It's tough. Just that's coming back into this. You can toss this in here now. If you ever make that, it's really good. Right. That is a shot. That does. If we ever stick that. Do you ever come off a zone if we just leave it here? I don't he believe just, might, that's why we need picking to get up the mics very much for this one. So we'll we'll talk through it too. See, measuring the options they have. Yeah. They'd love. Back line. You like that? It's that or it's it might be the five in to be honest with you. This. This. Yeah. Which, which do you prefer here, Tyler? I kind of... Yeah, if you could ever... Oh, I know, but Dead knows that guard this. so that the, your shooter stays there. If we don't make this now. Lose yeah. both those yellows. Yeah. This Just might be it. the time to do it. it. You also yep. could come around and there. Like back try to space. tap the yellow into the red, into yeah, the yellow, and unlock that a little bit. I don't think it'll do a ton. I don't think it'll do a ton. I think they're going to try to... Chip that yellow stone over into the open and sit right in front of it. So maybe Backline, space. through the house, wait it, somewhere yeah, in there. Yeah, I was just going to say hack at best. They just want to push that yellow to the open and have their red sit open as well so they can't take both away. I like this call. If you can, back 12. You can set it up so that both of them are out back from game, under the guard, yep. the shooter yep. and that yellow back stone. Back You're going to have an option never heavy. either way. So we'll give Mark Lazar credit Hard. for pointing that one out, whether we know if he did or not. Trying to get by the guard. Oh, oh just wow. paper. Hard hard, 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 hard. Actually, it rolls to side by side. Well, yeah, I don't like this now. Okay. That's really bad. Does line up a double for Team Sampson, which I think may be the play. I think we just freeze the red. And I'm, I'm seeing about nothing a freeze. else. Well, I mean, That's yeah, fine. Like freeze the red. If you're ever yellowed, you in off off your own. See so the other side. Just to take that away from. Could him. Almost freeze yeah, I mean for for Sampson here. Yeah. yeah, I guess he he's, he's worried about how. If yeah. that drags enough to dead stick on the back, then he can play off of that and play the yeah, double. Like, I'm just, I mean, that the top one won't go, but the side one yeah. would. So, he's thinking maybe just a little bit a tap on this, not a dead freeze. Be tough for Dropkin to move that stone then, but he can be sitting first and third for Sampson. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like this. Yep. Um, what, what is down here? Back eight, back eight. Sounds like back eight, back twelve. I think it's fucking up less over here than it is over They really there. don't want to unlock it at a bad angle. Yep. Yeah. But they would love to sit right on that stone and be first, third, and fourth. Back 12! Really want any more than that. We're heavy! Yep. That looks like all a back 12, if not more. Curl, 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 curl. We're huge, Kevin. 
bounces off. So sitting second and third now. Bumped that rock a, a lot farther than they would have wanted to. That was easily through the house weight. Space, hack. Can't take a ton of time to make the decision now with clock getting a little low. This, right? Can you, can you come off the yellow and kick your red enough? Real quick, we have one question about why there aren't I mean, sensor close. handles. Yeah, probably. If you came off, you kind of kick it, maybe a we few kick of the, the yellow up a hair. Recent international competitions they were having you like issues that, Cor? with I think, the, I think we the tried sensors going here, off anyway. and red lights coming peel. out when players weren't over the hog line. It happened enough times like that they just stone. eliminated them completely. Seven so okay? until yeah. they figure out why that was happening, they've gone back to to no sensors. There were so many stoppages in the games for false uh, red lights that they, they've gotten Seven. away from that oh. for the time being. Oh. Curl. Dropkin playing the up weight, and out turn, hit and roll in. Okay. Fine. Ends up almost nose, and now there's a pocket double for double. Sampson. Yeah. I think he's probably got to play it, but they're looking at maybe nose and leaving. I saw Dropkin sitting one. Is there a way in for Corey to score two if they nose? Little roll of the insides, okay, right? Yep. There is a little chip and roll for Dropkin off of his own stone. We have a whole minute, dude. For that second point, if they need to play it, Corey's gonna try to figure out if there's a. Some kind of shot for three in there. So this will be a hit and a little roll in for Sampson. Thought he might have a go at the double, but playing it safe and just trying to roll in. Final stone of this 10th end for Sampson. Hair down, 11! Yep. Lines holding a little bit, needed to curl. Oh. Ooh, jams on the back, and it looks as though Dropkin sitting first and third. With a hit on that, are you three? I don't think it's there for three. Corey's trying to figure out if he can you think it's there for three throw or no? enough of a bomb to come off of his own for three. I or don't just draw. believe it's there. Is it ever just like just a chisel? Settle for two close. points. Can you ever squeeze that yellow Probably between jammed, those two so reds? Make it. Like with just with the back line yeah. weight yeah. hit something? Yeah, that's possible. I mean, if yeah. they play... Back Hail. ring and skinny the guard. Maybe they could get to the yeah. inside of that yellow one for three, but not enough time to look at it, apparently. Real quick, yeah. Danny Casper gets and a steal right in 10 here. for the win. 9 8 over Rich Ruin. And yep. Oh, big quite time. Quite the comeback there. Yes. Dropkin's last on the way now. Hard! Oh Laying this in off. Really close. Oh, boy. And afraid of not, that. It's only one. Does not get the two. And. That will be game. Ethan Sampson, after a one-point score from Dropkin, gets a 6-5 victory. Big win for that young squad. It will Absolutely. Drop Corey Dropkin to 1-2 and two after three games. I believe that brings Sampson to 1-2 and two as well. So the field starting to tighten up a little bit. A very good win for that young squad to uh, to beat one of the top teams in the not just in the country but in the world. And a little bit of a hole for Team Dropkin to climb out of now after a one and two start in a shorter week with only a seven game tournament. But that will make the final six five Sampson over Dropkin for Tyler George and Tony Cott signing off. See you for this afternoon's this afternoon men's game. Women's game, excuse Women's. me.
Yeah. But we're still a little bit apparently. So women's draw three coming up this afternoon. Thanks for watching.